Hello, hello, hello. Hey, y'all. It's me, SB. Dearly it's beloved. It's Monday. It's Monday. So y'all know what tonight is. Y'all know. It is the night where me and my co-host, Black Man Unfiltered, will give y'all a good show. Money line. Money line. <laughs> Mr. Boss is a little off, but guess what? He got to catch up. But anyway, y'all know what the night is. It's Monday night, and y'all know it's going to be me and my co-host, Black Man Unfiltered. He's going to be up in just a little bit. <laughs> and we're going to be talking about what's the topic tonight. What is the topic tonight? Do you complete me? Ooh, we're going to find out. It's a question. We're just asking. We're just gaining information. And we're going to touch on a little bit of other things. Y'all already know. Yo, Y'all already know we're going around the world. But before we do it, I got to say thank you. Thank you to all of you all. YouTube, Twitter, not Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. Where is Twitter coming from? You know what? I think it's because Donald Trump got reinstated to Twitter. Y'all already know. He going to be tweet, tweet, tweet. <laughs> but anyway, but anyway, I want to say thank you to all my TikTok people. Thank y'all so much for your support. Y'all follow. Y'all listen. Come over here to YouTube. Subscribe to my channel. Turn that alert bell on so you'll know when I'm going live. Same for the Instagram, Facebook. Look, thank y'all so much. And YouTube, y'all know y'all always support. And I appreciate you so very much for doing that. But before we get started, but no, right now is a good time. Let's bring up uh, Black Man. Let's see how he do. <laughs> Looking all lovely and red, sir. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen around the world, you are tuning in to one of the best shows on YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, you're looking at Security Boss right now. So right now, I want you to stop what you're doing. Stop vacuuming the floor. Tell those badass kids to go sit down somewhere. Tell your husband to come and sit right beside you because she's about men, elevating men and directing women. So we're asking that you guys come in tonight. Sit down and enjoy yourselves at SB Nation Security Boss as your wonderful, beautiful, and miraculous uh, host tonight and her co-host right there in front of the, behind the camera, Mr. Boss is in the building. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands hey, together it. for Security Boss. Mr. Boss, ladies and gentlemen, go to the SB store, send a cash app, send a super chat tonight so you can get the money line song. Bam, there we go. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pay you for that one. I'm gonna have to. That was a good one. Thank you so very much. How you doing, that. man? You know I'm sunshine, partly cloudy. Uh, it's been a it's been a, a wonderful day. How about you? Doing good. Let me tell you what I stumbled up on today. Me uh -oh. just doing my little uh typical once in a while mm -hmm. YouTube search. I saw. I was like, is that is that black man in Sir Hill? What is they doing around that table? Come oh, on, uh, uh, what in the uh, like what? Nobody yes. told me about it. Yes, yes. I thought you had knew about it. My bad. I oh. need to start sending it to you. But yeah, me and Sir Hell uh was asked to come over and be a part of the Purple Peel podcast. Um, I like it. And that conversation was something else. While well, we was in there with some different. Y'all was representing. I gotta tell you though, y'all was representing for the mayor folks. So I gotta tell you that you did. You added some balance, some well needed balance. You know, my lord. It's tough out here in these streets. Ooh, don't even talk about it. It's super duper tough. Oh, it's tough out here in these streets. I see your boy though. He got he got reinstated, boy. He got like you just said, he's gonna be tweet, 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 tweet. We're gonna be like, what? He's gonna be like, I shoot him in in the middle of Times Square. He's gonna be like, what? Yeah, and you know what, Donald? And you know what? Elon Musk said he ain't silencing nobody. No, no, no. Well, what you think about that? This this is really not part of the show. I just it just happened to come in my head that. I saw an article about him being reinstated, and I'm like, oops. But what you think about that? Do you think we should be able to say anything we want on these airways? It, by by uh, the Constitution of the United States, um, yes. okay. it says that, you know, you have freedom of speech, um, and you're able to say what you want to say as long as you're not uh, physically harming someone uh, mm -hmm. or causing harm to someone physically. Uh, you can say what you want to say. So Elon Musk is saying, I'm going to make you, if that's what it says, I'm going to make you, I'm going to make you honest. Uh, because you banned a whole lot of people that are saying what they want to say. And so oh, it's just, and YouTube is doing the same thing. Uh, YouTube is saying that you can't, you can't say, you know, certain things anymore. They, I think they're updating it again where you can't uh, say fat girl or I don't know. It, it, what? It, yeah. It's getting to the point where oh, they say, so, so you don't, you ain't going to even know what, what words to use. And yeah, what not to you use. can't, you know, you can't it's just, it's, it's getting that way. 
Uh, but yeah, you know what? I don't like the. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Let me no, know. no, no. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Go ahead. I was just going to say I don't like the hate speech. I don't like the hate talk myself. Mm-hmm. But I do wish that um, the messages can be reviewed or heard. You know, conversations had without that part. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um. So I kind of get it, and I kind of don't. I understand. And then too, we're judging who could be hurt and what could hurt you. You know how people. You, you can't. <laughs> that's a slippery slope. It is. Because if they write that letter that says this is what hurt me and they go ahead and hurt themselves, you know who getting blamed for it, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. You you see the case of that little girl. Well, she was 15, 16. And her boyfriend called her and said, you breaking up with me. You can't break. If you break up with me, I'm going to delete myself. She said, go ahead and do it. He's something about to do it right now. She said, go ahead. And he did it. That was actually a court case, wasn't it? Uh, yes, ma'am. Yeah. But they found her not guilty, didn't they? Mm-hmm, they did. They thought that she should go to jail. Oh, oh, but, oh, but, they did find but, but, after, but after that case, right, they gave her probation or something. But after that case, they changed the laws and an Asian girl did it to her boyfriend and they gave her 10 years. Mm. Slippery slope. We got to be careful. We got to be careful. Yeah. Before we go on, let's say hello to a few people. We kind of got off. It was me. It was me. We kind of got off and went to the left a little bit. We're going to go around the world because I know you got some stuff to share. I know something yeah. happened in Texas this weekend. Man. Always. 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 Before we get started, let's say hello to a few people. Lady Navoa. Hello. How are <laughs> you? The normal nerd. You know, I like that. A normal nerd. <laughs> Damn. Yes. What's up? What's going on? <laughs> SB is approaching that 5K. Yes, I yeah. am. <laughs> you know, I haven't even checked in today. What is it? What is well, it? I, I, you know, I'm, I'm pulling you everything up right now so I can look Come at this chat. How, hey, Sugar Bomb, how close am I? I'm, I'm thinking, I don't even know. Let me see. Wigs. <laughs> Jedi Mike, what are you talking about? This is, a wig. is not a wig, Jedi. I'm just kidding. Hello, Jedi. How you doing? It's good to see you. We, I ain't seen you in a couple weeks, but it's good to see you. Thank you for being here. Yeah, you, 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 you're 200 away. Oh, 200 away. Okay, listen, y'all go get y'all friends. <laughs> Anyone y'all know, share the video. Give a thumbs up. I'm almost to I'm 200 away, y'all. Come on, that from 5,000. Woohoo. Okay, uh, Lifeline Lessons. Hello, how are you? Listen, did he change his name? He looks familiar to me. <laughs> yeah, he, which one? Lifeline. He does look familiar. I was just about to say the same thing. I don't recall that name, though. But anyway, thank you for being here. Dallas Cowboy. Hey, USD. Hey, sister. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Jojo, Jojo, it's good to see you. What's going on with you? I'm glad that y'all here. So y'all know what the subject is today. Did I miss somebody? Y'all know what the topic is today. It is, mm-hmm. um, what? Can you, uh, will a good man, a good woman, complete me, a complete you? Can a good man, could a good mate really complete you? What you think, black man? What you think? I think if, uh, if you swim in the right pool, uh, you might run up on one that will. Uh, Denzel yeah, Washington. Somebody- you heard what Logic said. Like, I'm just going to listen. I got to you brought it up. Did you hear what Logic said about that pool last week, right? <laughs> going fishing. <laughs> hey, that dude hey. is stupid, bro. I love Logic, man. He's stupid. He's probably bringing up Hammerhawk. Hammerhawk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, my God. But Hammerhead you know, I, socks. Socks. Now, I, was, I was looking at your thumbnail, and everybody thumbnail. on there, I agree with, but one couple, I just don't. I don't even know about it. I know you're talking about back up there in that top left corner. Yeah, man. Listen, that don't nothing complete them because they're having threesomes, foursomes. Uh, you know, they oh, they 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 get they getting it in over there. Uh, themselves. Listen, I ain't gonna talk about what going on in somebody's marriage. I can't. Okay. I now, can't. I mean, now, I can, but I can't. You know what I'm trying to say? Right. <laughs> and, but I, I will I will answer your question. I think Paul, I think when it comes to if you can, yeah, because look at uh Denzel. You know, um, she came in, he was broke, didn't have no money. Uh, they both were in school struggling. And she said, I'm going to get a job and I'm going to work and I'm going to pay all the bills. And you go and you um, go follow your dream. You know what? So guess what? That man had a plan way back then. He knew he what did. he was going to do. Ain't that something? And now he's one of the greatest actors to ever do it. He walked it out. You know, that's what that's what that's what you should do. But we ain't going to talk about it yet. Let's go around the world a little bit. Dr. Steele, good to see you. We got to first talk about it, and, and we're going to lift our hands and pray for those people in Colorado Springs. Yeah. At the, um, was it Club Q? Yep. Um, we ain't heard much about it yet, but what they said, uh, 
Yeah, it was all five it was, people were killed and 25 others were injured. Yeah, it's the LGBTQ club. Yeah, 19 of them by gunfire. He shot that many people. Mm-hmm. Suspect 22-year-old Anderson Lee Aldrich was also injured and taken into the local hospital. He was only 22 years old. Yep. Mm, like me. Ooh, they they they're, they're saying it was a they're thinking it was a hate crime. It was. It was definitely hateful. But uh, what you think about this? This is this is I you know I haven't even checked my stats on the um yep. mass shootings of this year, so you know we probably were about five hundred. Man, uh, <laughs> I can like tell you right now, mass shootings in the United States in today's day. Oh my God, I, I don't even want to know, black man. I'm just kidding. I don't even want to know. Um, you 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 want to know? I said about we we was at three fifty this summer, so I, we gotta be at least four hundred. All right, let's see here. Um. Oh. I hate to. Eat. How much? How many do you think? What's your What's your guess? I'm gonna say about four or five. Six hundred and ninety-two <laughs> mass shootings. Woo! Mm. Six hundred and how many? Six hundred and it, it, last year the re, the group recorded six hundred ninety-two mass shootings last year. For the whole year. Uh, That's for the whole year. This year alone, six hundred and one. Oh, I was two hundred off. Black man, you mean to tell me as of right now? Well, listen, that makes that kind of makes sense, right? Because if we we, we was keeping mm-hmm. up this summer, we was right at three fifty. Mm-hmm. I, I hadn't checked in since then, and mm-hmm. now we got a whole hundred and fifty more. Yep, and that's been about what three months. Yep, mass shootings. I put the link in the chat for everybody so they can see the mass shooting. That's crazy, but yeah, um, yeah, six hundred and one, six ninety two for the whole year, and we still have uh, a month to go. Yeah, six. It was six hundred ninety-two total last year in twenty twenty-one. And right now we're at six hundred one. We're at six hundred one right now. Whew. We trying to keep it consistent, aren't we? Yep, it's crazy out here in these streets. Mm, mm, mm. What you got? You got anything else? I'm done. You know what? I didn't even think. I didn't, I was like, you know what? I don't even want to do any news because it's all just so. Okay, we are okay. Shankula. Everybody right. heard and talked about Shankula. So I'm not going right. to even dive into that until we get some more information and we can come with the whole story. Because right. I already know it's super duper messy. Right. Super duper. It ain't what it always appears. It seems, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I already know that. And you know, I you know I know about them girlfriends. You mm-hmm. know, you know what? I saw a sneak peek at your at your show today. Um, somebody left a comment. Um, you know, we clipped the show that I was on of your show. Yeah. Somebody clipped a comment and uh, they were shouting out Queen Smiley and telling her how they were appreciating her, how uh, intelligent she was. Right. So I was like, Queen Smiley, when, when did I do something with Queen Smiley? Then I clicked it. I was like, it's, it's Black Man's uh, show. Right, 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 right. Um, and we was talking about them darn girlfriends. I was just shaking my head. I was like, wow. Them darn girlfriends is something else. What, what we going to do? Well, I'm glad you brought that up because if we're going around the world and I, yeah, yeah, uh, let me tell you something. Um, did you hear what happened with uh, Miss Tia? Yeah, she didn't graduate. Yeah, she said marriage to her was a curriculum. It is. And once you and she says it's just like school. And once you get to a certain level, you graduate. Yeah, I wonder how she picked that level because the, the kids ain't grown. Nope. She ain't grown. 13 ain't no whole number. It had been 13 years. How how do we how do we uh we what we do drop out? I think what she wants to I think that she wants a young I let me tell you what I told my wife. I said no, you didn't. You get ready. I told I told my wife, I said, listen, this was about six months ago. Uh Tia uh was posting on Instagram real thirsty pictures, laying in the bed, uh nothing on under the blanket, pulling the blanket down, pulling the blanket over her legs. I mean, real sexy pictures. And she was being thirsty. And I told my wife, I said, that's not a wife. I said, in a few, I guarantee you before the year out, they'll be divorced. And my what? wife said, oh, no, I think she's just doing that uh, because she's in the you know world. And I think no modeling. I said, baby, there ain't no modeling. Listen. Modeling? Mm. I, said, ain't, I said, baby, there ain't no modeling. I said, come on now, catch up. I said, this woman is being thirsty because she wants t- the attention that these younger women are getting. I and this, and she's Yeah, and she's in her 40s. Uh, let's mm-hmm. see. Uh, she's 44, so she's six years away from being 50. So basically, she said, for the rest of my 40s, I want to give me a younger man. But boo-boo, honey, child, boo-boo, and everything else in you, uh, you too old, baby. Those men that wanted you in your 20s, they no longer want you. Uh, they want the younger women. 
So uh, listen, you know, you know, TikTok is our new news station, right? I knew right, news, exactly. news, news. And you know, we can't believe everything on TikTok. But I ain't heard nobody say it. And I'm like, is I'm the only one that heard this. But allegedly, um, the husband walked up, I rolled up, and saw a suspicious car in the driveway mm-hmm. that that didn't belong there. And mm-hmm. it just happened to be one of them gentlemen that you're talking about. Right. And actually saw her calling on somebody, you know, and didn't say nothing at the time. Did you mm-hmm. hear that? Mm-hmm. I haven't, but I, I, it's, I don't, I believe it. Oh yeah. So say he um, allegedly saw a car that was in the driveway that was, should not have been there. And he, I don't know. He called out on it. Yeah. Yeah. This was <laughs> earlier on this year. Mm-hmm. I don't know when. And, and I think things might've spiraled from that time. Yeah. I'm looking right now. Let's see. Check it out. A yeah. cat car in the driveway. Put it in something like that and see what happens. But while All you right. do that, we go say hello to Dre. Dre, how you doing? It's good to see you. He says, when you remove God, you fend for yourself. Oh, my goodness. You ain't said nothing. He did. Come on, Doc. He preaching tonight. Thank you so much for your $2 super chat. You absolutely do. You absolutely do. You, you lose your covering. You lose your covering and you lose your covering. Mm, there it is. And that's the thing. And then she don't want him to have the kids. But let me tell you what's going to happen. What? Wait a minute. Yeah, it says here, Tia. We uh, have an issue? Yeah, she's a Tia Maui filed for divorce from Corey. Uh, the actress cited uh, irreconcilable differences in her court paperwork obtained. Uh, the game star, who didn't specify date of separation, requested the court give her 100% custody of the children. Let me tell you something. Look up, look, look up on there and see a led, a black car that, that uh, her husband might have walked up on to see if it has any validity to it. Because I don't mm-hmm. know. I just be hearing stuff. I keep going. You know, you don't like to get into a celebrity business because you never know how them people living in their own. Oh, home. I see it. Oh, no, bo, bo, sa, ba, ba. Ain't nobody said nothing about that alleged car. That oh, I see it. Car. I'm looking at it right now. Wait a minute. Yeah, sure is. I see it. It says cheating scandal. Uh, yeah. Tia Maury spotted with mysterious man, and this man getting out, and it's a black. Yeah, I'm looking yeah. right at it. Yeah, I heard that a while back. Yeah, 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 yeah. <coughs> but guess what's gonna happen though? Give it, give, give it a while. You gotta do what you gotta do. How, how old is Corey? Uh, because I thought Corey was younger than her, but I don't know. Yeah, he may be younger. Corey Hardy. Let me let me let me look this man up because let me see what his age is. Oh, he. I'm, he, hoping, he, I'm hoping she she um just admit. I hope it. Um, she talking too much right now. For, for, yeah. for oh, but wait a minute! Did you see the video too that she did? What had her little name on the bottom of it when they were saying, um, the man was talking to himself, but he was like doing a little, a little uh, skit, and he was like, "You move in my house, you ain't got no money. What you paying the bills when I out when I came in?" And then he said to himself, "Yeah, but aren't you gonna help me?" He was like, "Yeah, I help you in about nine months." And she was like, "He was like, wouldn't you already paying the bills?" She said, like, "Yeah, I was already paying." You did you see that skit? Uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah, it's a skit of the man. This man is talking to himself, but he's playing two parts in the skit. And Tia got on the bottom of it how she, she um checked that she liked it, and the things that they're saying, people are thinking that that was her situation going into her marriage. Now, now I want you to hear, I want you to hear something, ladies and gentlemen of the court. I want you to hear this security the court. We're in the court now. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is this is Yahoo.com. I'm gonna put it in the chat because I want people yeah, to follow it. Along. If y'all look in the chat, you're gonna see a link I just put in that chat. Mm. And this is and this was January. Yahoo News reported this in January. Uh Yahoo News says, Hey Corey, this is what it says. Yahoo News. I'm looking at it right now. Hey Corey, come get your wife. <laughs> Tia Maori. Sexy bedroom pics has fans asking, where's her husband? This was January 2022. I told my wife before the year out, they will be divorced. It is it's November. They're divorced. I think it started in September. Yeah, you're right. Look at, look at these pictures of her landing. Ooh, baby, she got that hair pulled back. Got uh-huh. that head laying on that pillow with that ass tooted up. Ah, I'm not interested. I'm, I'm more threw- interested in who was driving the black car and, where, and what, who made that okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so you know when people say stuff like they done graduated, you better hear what they're saying, what they mm-hmm. trying to say. So this next one, he got some money. He's accomplished, and he doing he doing his thing. And Corey was just Corey is just now just played out. Yeah. Uh huh. And that's the thing. So you will leave a man. You, she's leaving because I'm telling you, she wants somebody younger. But what she don't understand is the young man that was the young man when she was growing up is no longer the young man today. 
that man going to get all the vagina he want from that woman. Mm, I don't know. And he's going to chunk the deuces up at her. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Well, yeah. Listen, Peaches say, um, Tia trying to convince us that she made the right decision. She's trying to convince herself, Tia. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Tia, excuse me, Peaches, Tia is trying to convince herself with this crazy analysis or mm -hmm. or whatever. Talk about the curriculum and, and she done graduated because guess what? Unless you just drop out, how you graduate mid season? Her kids are still young; and they're then, not grown. And then she and, said, "My marriage is." She said, "Oh God, don't you tell them white women like they offended her?" Oh, my marriage was great. It just comes a time in your life. You know, my grandmother passed away. Uh, we had a cousin die in a shooting. It just gets to a point in your life where you just want to freak yourself. Oh no, 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 no! Yeah, she playing them games. But guess what? Yep. It's going to be some nights where she's going to have to relive all this and you're going to have to make some decisions to see if she made a good one or a bad one. And hopefully, you know what? It's all temptation again, all over for me exactly. and my mind. I just keep seeing temptation for me all over. But hey, and, and I some of these women her. like this, they think they more than what they are. And the reality about the kick in, because right now, if she went and got in the shower and got out with no makeup on, she's not going to look as fine as hell as she look in this picture right now. She's not. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to take anything from her, but she was a married woman, a married yeah. woman. I don't nothing supersede. No graduation supersedes the marriage. And she can't say anything about him. Right. Right. Um, sugar, bump say marriage, wait a minute, wait a sugar bump say marriage is failing. Sugar bump marriage is not failing. And she married though. People are failing. Marriage is the institution that is. It can't fail. It's there. It's the people that are getting involved in it that are failing. And I would agree with you 100%, not 50, 100 that people are failing. That's what's going on. Not you, the marriage. You, not the marriage. You know what's crazy? The whole time they've been married, you've never heard one scandal. None. No cheating None. rumors. None. None of that. Nothing. Not one time. Not one time. And it's hard to hide that from the world today with all this technology and, and Instagram. And hell, you can't go nowhere without somebody seeing you. Yeah, or, so, or, having, or even having a fight or, but yeah. you know, when I, when I heard about that car though, when I heard about that mysterious thing, I'm thinking, oh, what? Yeah. Not, he, not the twin, you know, <laughs> that is, that is just not even them, but I just see temptation. Y'all know I'm talking about that movie by Tyler Perry. Mm -hmm. I just see temptation all over again, but I hope she does well. She I don't like the idea. She's trying to keep him from the kids yeah. though. What is that about? Yeah. She's, she's going on a divorce tour. Because she's going to do just like Gabrielle Union did. Gabrielle Union went and told all the women it's okay to sleep with Pookie and Ray Ray's. She said that. She wrote a book. She said, anytime you travel, make sure you get the penis in the city that you're in, that you're traveling in. Right? So that was Gabrielle Union. She went on to uh, have a sex with all the Pookie and Ray Ray's. And then she said, or she told her, uh, her friends, watch this. Girl, what I want to do is I want to uh, start sleeping with men that got good sex. And she said, uh, what them dudes that will be playing the video games that ain't got no job? Oh, God. And no, so, oh, yes, this that. is on camera. I'm going to send it to you and Mr. Boss so you can look watch it. She said, I'm going to go and have sex. That's on my bucket list, to have sex with some with some F boys. But wait a minute. Isn't her husband a lot younger than her? Absolutely, he is. But wait a minute. Hold on for a minute. When she took that little break right there, didn't, didn't he end up with a baby? Didn't he get somebody pregnant? He sure did. What is that baby? I have no idea. How come we never hear about that child? I have no idea. Where the baby mama? Hmm. And they, and but you see the other mama that came out, the one that, you know, yeah, said, girl, I don't yeah. want my son to have no girl name. I don't want my son. So she come, she didn't came out to the forefront. But this is now she's on a divorce tour. So now she's gonna go to state to state and she's gonna make women feel good. And she's gonna sell tickets and she's gonna make she's gonna write a book. What yeah. I'm telling you what's about to happen in the next six months. Oh, and then she going, oh, oh, this is going to be her wrestling through her depression. Yeah, she's going to write a book and then okay. she's going to sell tickets. Women going to show up and she's going to tell women, I know you've been with your husband for 12 <laughs> years, but 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 your but that's a curriculum. No, now, no, 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 free no. Yourselves. Oh, not happy. I'm going to yeah. need you to leave him because you got to find yourself because happiness mm -hmm. where it's at. But listen, let's don't let's don't gloss over this. Where is the Wayne Way's child? I Which just one? wonder. Oh, is it what we don't know nothing about? Nope. I don't know where that baby is. I guess he made he made the woman, uh, the baby mama sign the NDA so she can't talk. And we don't even we, we, we haven't seen the baby, right? No. no. Wow, they mm, they powerful. Mm -mm. Yep. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. listen, before we go on, Clement, Clement Gray, I think Clem, let me see. 
fear. Yes, Mr. Gray, thank you so much for your $2 uh, super chat. He says a married woman who still hear the street calling. Yes, calling her pretty hard. She had to go check it out. It was that black car, though. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to put it in the street, but it was that black car. Yep. Who knows what else? I don't know. I don't know, y'all. It may come out. It may all come out, all begin to make sense soon. So listen, today, hey, Kay, Kay, what's going on with you? Kay, listen, what's going on, my guy? I said, you know what? I said, I told Mr. Boss, I'm going to start telling some of, some of our little stories and then we're going to get into it because this kind of, um, for me, y'all may understand it, y'all may not. This kind of goes to what the topic is. It's does your, your, does your mate complete you? Um, you know, I've been always saying from the beginning how me and Mr. Boss were married on godly principles and becoming one and things like that. And I, I never has go, have gone as far as to say within marriage, I feel like couples will be blessed. Um, Dre said it best early today. You remove God, then you fend for yourself. So, Mr. Speed, how you doing? So I'm, I'm sticking with that. I do believe within marriage, your marriage is blessed. I do believe that. And again, like Dre said, you remove God, anything can happen. So yep. I'm going to tell a story. And um, it, it goes to it goes to being complete and things of that nature because um, me and Mr. Boss have been together a long time. Y'all know that. 27 years. And I can right. think back to when we bought our first house. Now, when I say first house, I'm talking about the house we lived in. We have we were also buying investment properties at the time. So I'm just telling stories so I can assure you guys uh, these things are real because sometimes people don't believe you are real because they see what you see and everything is OK, looks good or whatever. But I got to tell you how we got here and tell you some of the things that we experienced along the way. And black men, if you got something you want to share, I want you to do it, too, because, again, sure. nobody understands how important it is to be married, especially the women covered and in a relationship where God can bless the situation. Right. The streets. You know, women, the streets are just that it's the streets and nothing's good for you there. So anyway, first house. Um. We were, uh, I'm, I'm going to skip all over. But anyway, we was living in this house. Must the boss bought the first house. No, no. We bought the first house together as a couple, right? Then we were, it was on a Sunday. It was so random. We were also buying investment properties. But it was on a Sunday afternoon. We were sitting in our living room and we were watching a football game. i never forget. We got a call. This was Sunday. Now, keep in mind what I'm saying. This is how weird things are or how good things are, how good God is. We were sitting in there. And the uh, mortgage company called and they said, um, we were calling because we wanted to know what did you all want us to do with this extra money? Because you, your attorney called, your attorney sent in a check and paid off the mortgage on that house. Right. And it was too much. She sent too much money. So what do you want to do with the extra money? Do you just want us to send you a check back or do you want to apply it? What, what do you want to do? You know, and now listen, me and Mr. Boss sitting there like, OK, this is all wrong. We know it's all wrong because we didn't send a check. Our, our lawyer, our attorney shouldn't have sent in a check to pay off this particular house. This was our primary resident. This was not one of our investment properties. But I don't we don't even know. We really don't know. So we're saying what? You know, let us check to make sure on our end. Um before you do anything. And it was like, well, the, we just wanted you to know the mortgage has been paid off. Now y'all need to hear what I'm saying. Whoa. Yes. The mortgage was paid off. Me and Mr. Boss had nothing to do with it. So let me just tell you, we were moving on. About a week went by. We done told them, look, hold on because we don't know what you're talking about. You know, this shouldn't have happened. Time went on, about a week went by. Went by. So they gave us a call back and they said, um, we just wanted y'all to know that the um, the instrument on that particular house, which is the deed, has been now paid off. And we realized that uh, that should have been applied to something else. But just in case y'all didn't know, once a mortgage is paid off, it's paid off. There's absolutely nothing you can do. You know how like if somebody makes a mistake on a loan, like a car loan, they can redo it. You know, they can just open it up and say, oh, you owe this amount or whatever. You can't do that on a mortgage. Right. A mortgage has to be reclosed, reclosed right. and, and, and a um, deed and all these things have to be redone. It has to be recorded and all this stuff has to be done again in order to make it valid. Right. right. So y'all hear what I'm saying. This loan, this deed 
everything was satisfied. Papers were sent. It was done. Somebody had paid off our house. Paid it off. Paid too much. And it was like, you know, then they realized later that it was an error, right? But there was nothing they could do. So you know what they said? They said to us, so uh, this is how they talking. Um, so what what do y'all want to do? Now, we were going to sell the house in like a year time anyway. So we was like, well, we'll just we'll just stay here and just sell it. And, you know, that's what we did. We lived in that house for a year and paid nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nobody came back and said, we found a mistake. The, the money's low. This, this, no, nothing. The mortgage on that house, I'll never forget. It was our first house we ever bought. was $828 a month. $828 a month was the mortgage on that house. Wow. Paid off. Somebody paid it off. Nobody came back and said nothing. The mortgage, cut, the mortgage company didn't come up and say, I'm sure y'all got the pay us to live in this house. Nothing. Nothing. Nobody said nothing. It was paid. Deed, paper, everything in, in our name. All of it was done. Did y'all hear what I'm telling you? We got wow. to live there a whole year and didn't have to pay anything. Wow. Nothing. So I, when I tell you that you are blessed, you can be blessed within marriage. You can, for whatever reason, <laughs> that happened to us. And it is just no explanation under the sun why or what have you or nothing. It was our house. Wow. It was our house. Yeah. Ain't that crazy? That is. Yeah. And we've sat back and looked at it. We was like, first of all, on a Sunday. <laughs> it was on a Sunday that they called. And she was like, well, I'm just catching up on work. And I had these checks and I just wanted to apply them. And, you know, I'm like, mm hmm. So I just want y'all to know that it's real. Within marriage, things could happen. And it, what it did, it was just cleared us up to do whatever it was we needed to do until we were ready to do something else. Wow. I just wanted to share that story. There's many more. I got many. I got a lot of stories like this. Wow. A lot of them. A lot of them. I do. But anyway, Sir Hill, thank you so much for your $9.99 super chat. He says, salute to Unsolicited Security Boss, Uncle Boss, Black Man, Unfiltered Network. Thank you. You can make it I'm a runner at any time. Give me mine. Going up, need no decline. Money line. I'm a runner at any time. Give me mine. Going up, need no decline. Yeah, yeah. Really beloved. So I just have to share those stories with people sometimes because it's, it's been some we have witnessed and experienced some outrageous, unexplainable things throughout our time, throughout our 27 years being married. So to end all that story, what happened is um, when the house was ready to be sold, they dealt directly with the bank. Everything was good. We walked. Nothing happened. You know, we walked away. Everything was good. So you, was, you had 100 percent profit. 100. Well, no, I didn't get it. The bank actually got it. But somebody okay. else. Because somebody else paid, I got to live there for a year, a hundred percent free. For nothing. Yeah, but somebody else I had out, and they never did tell us who paid it off. They never said anything about it. We didn't know anything about it, but we never had any issues. We didn't. Nobody rushed us. I, you know, I, I, after the mistake was made, I think a lot of people tried to hush. You know, <laughs> stay underground with it or whatever. But yeah, it was that's happened. That happened. <laughs> I see, I see you, Renaissance man. Uh, he in the building tonight. Is he? Am I? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, he, yeah, he had a show. A political, How are you? Huh? He had a political show the other day, and uh -oh. all of his technology went out. And it, 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 the show. It, yes, and it left me up there. I was just sitting there on there live, and I took over the whole show and did the whole show for him until he got everything back up. <laughs> Look. We know about that. We know about that struggle stream, boy. It can happen yeah. at any time. But thank yeah. you for being here. He said maybe next time we'll uh, catch security on there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because uh, it was, it was. I was, uh, yeah. I, so I, I was happy to help him out, though. No problem, man. I didn't oh, wanna... you, know you can carry a show. So I just wanted to share that, guys, because often me and Mister Boss, where well, I talk about, and, and things are good now, and you know we had to get to this place. But often people don't understand what marriage is all about. We only see one side. Or we see, no, let me just be honest with you. We all talk about the negative parts. Um, right. There are some things, like I said, we were blessed. We've been blessed our whole marriage, um, despite us. 
Right. You know, despite the craziness that we do or bring into the relationship or the growing pains that we had to go through within the marriage, we we still were being blessed. So I would say, can a good mate really complete you? I would say yes. But again, we still have to be in our roles coming into this situation. My husband had to be a husband with a plan in order for me to have anything to begin to assist in completing. Exactly. I had to be that wife in order for him to invest in. SB, these modern men don't want wives. They want bad. Ooh. <laughs> they want bad. Oh, wow. Let me. Okay. You know what? Go ahead, go ahead, security boss. I'll get them next. Just tag wait me in. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute, though. Sugar bomb. Why can't a wife be a bad? I ain't going to put the B on her, but why can't she be, be, be the baddie also? Why can't be one in the same? Yeah, yeah it can be. I kind of feel like I'm one in the same. I ain't going to put that second B on me. But I put a BBY on me, and I will talk. Talk your talk, security yeah, ball. Talk it. But I ain't gonna be the BB. <laughs> yeah, talk your talk. And, and still work out because I I do happen to think that that men, modern men, want beautiful women, curvaceous, you know, eights, nines, tens, sevens, or whatever. I think I think you're right about that. But they do still want traditional. They do still men still have traditional thoughts about their wives. And they want their wives to be a certain way. Right. Tell her, tell, tell her, nurse fancy. Tell her why we can't be all of that, all of that. Why we got to be one or the other. So, black man, what you think? What do you think I mean, about that? Well, 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 yeah, what I want to say uh, to Sugar Bomb is that some women out there um, have to maintain themselves for their husbands. If your husband met you and you looked a certain way, uh, your husband is visual. You should try to stay that way. Don't get mad and say your husband, I'm looking for a bad baddie. Uh, when you're at home and um, you come to bed looking like a sheep herder. Um, and so you, when you come to bed looking like a sheep herder or you like you have a lawn service, um, you come to bed with your overalls on. Uh, your man is no longer attracted to you. And so then, yes, you will put that out there in the world and say men, you know, just want bad baddies because. You 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 stop being a baddie, and so that's what that is. And so, um, so ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching, well, ladies, if your man met you looking a certain way, and you had your hair right, and you had your face right, and you had your body right, you had your clothes right, and you brought a sex appeal, and now you look in the mirror, and you can't even recognize yourself, that's a problem. Yeah. Your husband wants you back. But bad bees go on girls trips. <laughs> Hey, the you might be right. Girl. You might be right. Peaches, Peaches might have got us on that one. You're right, Peaches, because I ain't going on no girls' trip. <laughs> so Come on, Peaches. Peaches might have got us on that one. <laughs> right. Well, you know what? We're gonna have to have a uh, we're gonna have to have a conversation about that because it's got to be a good medium. You know, medium it's there. Like you know, she can be an attractive woman and a good wife and still be satisfying to her husband. You know. No, no way! This one marriage principle, <laughs> being in really the relationship with <laughs> being yeah. a bad B, right? I know. Sugar bomb, just be you know, you know, trolling. lady. See, you know what's up. Now she I want to say something up. real quick, if I can. Go ahead. This show is too good and too great for you guys to come in late and not hit that subscribe button. Listen to me. There's 48 people watching right now, and there's only 28 likes. I think you guys should take a moment. And just go beyond yourself. Stop being selfish. Stop treating Security Boss's channel like a side chick. And go down there and hit the subscribe button right now. Those numbers, oh, they, they jumping right now. Get, let's get it up. It's 46. If 46 is watching, it should be 46 likes. We at 34 right now. Let's get them up right now. This is too good of a show for y'all to be playing games. Everybody yeah, hit the like button. Know, I think what happens sometimes is they be sitting back wondering, am I going to like this or a security boss going to say something that just yeah. on my toes and make me mad as hell at her? That's yeah, what I do. No, the security boss going to give you everything you need. Sure, they'll like get, they get mad at me and slam the door, walk out, and then next week I'll be back. They'll be back too. <laughs> I'm just what you love to hate. <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting <laughs> here watching this number. Girl strips is lit. 
it don't mean we sleeping with men. No, it don't. It don't. It don't, Peaches. Yeah, don't. Peaches. It may not be because you sleeping with men. Oh, but there's a whole lot of videos. If you go on YouTube and watch, if you go on Facebook and watch, if you talk to regular men out in the street, there's a lot of girls trips where women make packs with each other. Listen, we're going to go down whoa, whoa, here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. You, what you say? There's a lot of group. There's a group of women out here. A whole bunch of them that oh. will get together and make a pack with each other and they'll say hey girl we're gonna go down here whatever happened down here happened down here listen y'all don't tell my business i don't tell y'all and when they get down and they see them nice looking men walking on the oh. beach and the man buy them a drink and buy them something to eat and then they end up in the hotel room guess what they friend doing high five them girl you about to get that thing y'all be safe make sure he wear a condom you know what i thought you said what I thought you said no, they might not be with the men, but they shall be making them girlfriend packs. And I'm thinking, what? What you mean? Oh. Right? I'm like, where you going with that? You you know what I'm saying? You have to uh -huh. you, I thought you went left on me. Wait, so, wait. Secure the boss. I don't want to poison your punch. Please so I, I wouldn't sing you, you and Mr. Boss, nothing to poison your punch. Yeah, However, I did see a, 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 a I know a lot of people probably seen this too went viral. They took it off of YouTube. But there was a woman went on a trip with her friend. They was on a girl's trip and they met this Jamaican guy, real long uh, locks, uh, cut up real, I mean, real muscular guy. And security boss, he had one of the women laying on the bed. And he was turned this, turned this way, but she was that way. And he was inside of this woman. And he had his head between the legs of the other woman. And he was doing this and this at the same time. He had both of them on each, both sides of him, working both of them at the same time. Very talented guy. He was a very talented, man. Stop. But, but watch this. <laughs> but, 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 but watch this, though. Both of them. If you look at the video, both of them had their wedding rings on. Stop. Uh-uh. <laughs> see, you, you, you've messed up because you tried to give me a visual. I don't want to see that. Uh-huh. Okay. And then you're going to end it with both of them being in mirror. And then you're going to say they put it on YouTube. So who was actually taping this? Yeah, uh, I guess they set it up because you could tell what nobody holding the camera it was on a tripod. Like, it, so it was in the corner. But you saw him working this side and head working on this side. And the, both of the women was enjoying themselves. Go, man. I had to let you go. I had but, to let but you they, go. No, but they, I'm not saying nothing about it. But they had that with the thing that would that would that would trouble a man is to see those two women on on that on that video, and both of them had wedding bands on. So but, that means both of them probably were married, and they knew. Sounds like to me, they knew they were being videoed from the way you just explained it. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, that means they didn't care. Yeah, they didn't oh, care. I, I, well, that's too much. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, Peaches, we already know that you wouldn't be indulging in anything like that. But I want to read Mr. Dre's $5 super chat because he says, um, because I'm a whole before, before her, but together we're stronger, I can change, I can chase a thousand, two can chase ten thousand. Power of unity. Hmm, I like that. So you you like you don't like complete. You thinking complete was completion was already done before. And then, okay, okay, I can see why you would say that. <laughs> Thank you so much for your five dollar super chat. But Dre, listen, I'm gonna pose a question, and you tell me because this is something that I experienced. Um, my husband was pretty, pretty complete, or pretty, I ain't gonna say complete, pretty sound in who and his plan and what he wanted to be coming into the marriage. But I realized when we, you know, relationships are together, are, are created to make you better. Did y'all know that? Mm -hmm. know that. that's Come what on. they're for relationships are created to make us better yep. so just like dre said together we became stronger but the only thing i question and i don't question is just i'm gonna add something to it when you are in a relationship a marriage relationship or any deep relationship with a person you you you, you are emotionally get, becoming attached to them or what have you mm -hmm. it tends to reveal things about you that you never knew right your inner thoughts, your inner secrets, your, your traumas, maybe, or just different things about you. And y'all begin to peel off layers, right? And as I'm peeling off layers, I am becoming stronger, but aren't I becoming more, you know, whole also, or am I just adding to the strength of the relationship or the strength of the individuals? What you think, black man? What I think is, I think that you become, I think as a person, 
if you everybody's been through something right right so i think as a person when you when you have someone else come into your life you you that person comes in and adds another level to your life and so basically what i mean by that is that you're connected to a source like just look at it from a biblical standpoint you connect a man is connected to god but mm-hmm. God is, but but God has said in His Word that it's not good for man to be alone. So now, now, do I, now that I have the power source, and now God told me I don't have to be alone. When that woman comes into my life, she's going to add another chapter to my book, and that chapter to my book is going to be our legacy. We're going to walk together. We're going to talk together. We're going to create together. We're going to build together. We're going to be. Well, I'm going to take care of you when you're sick. Take care of me when I'm when I'm sick. We're going to. We're going to be stronger than we've ever been before together because no man should be alone. And so I think that I think that the world is so crazy right now that you don't want nobody wants to be married anymore. Everybody wants to have variety penis uh, and variety vagina and nobody wants to have that commitment anymore. Um, So that's where I'm at with it. I think that you're better together. I think strength comes from togetherness where there's unity, there's strength. Well, that was the, that's uh, that is definitely the purpose of to get to be better to of the relationship. But yep. let me ask you this question: If we all knew that that's mm-hmm. the purpose, and and this would bring us some sort of wholeness or completion within, or make us better, like Dre said, make us stronger within the relationship. Why do we fight it? Why do we resist it? Because um, this is going to another part of this. Um, I had one of our favorite um f- uh, followers comment, and I'm not going to mm-hmm. tell you who it was, but he. This is a good question. He asked, he said, um, SB, why don't you speak on being already in a marriage? And for whatever reason, that marriage failing or or you're not being able to see eye to eye with your mm. mate. Right. Um, and you you got a plan or you didn't have a plan or whatever, but you keep going right and she keep going left. How can we put this back together? And I said, you know what? This is good. I think more than you need to hear this. I don't think I said it to him. But I'm telling you that is good because I think that's the state of a lot of people. Right. How do we how do we get it back together? How do we get on the same accord or how can we make this work? Because what you're talking about and what I what I talk about is is being successfully married. And I ain't talking about happiness. I'm talking about being successfully married cuz see I see a lot of people add a lot of things to their marriage. They always add stuff to their marriage. And for me to add something to my marriage makes it more difficult. Right. If I just accept it in its plan and its purpose, I'm good and I can be blessed. But if I keep adding, I add another man or I, he adds another woman, you know, I'll add a girl trip here and there, you know, <laughs> or right. I, you know, I, I, I'll stop spending money correctly. You know, whatever. You just start adding things to your marriage relationship it tears it apart instead of bringing us back together. Right. So what would you tell them? And I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell them because it's, 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 it's a big thing. You know, I don't know what's happening, you know, but it seems like we're on autopilot within the marriage. So how can we make, how can we make this situation work better? Uh, Communication. Okay. Let's talk about it. Yeah. I think, I think marriage is communication. Um, if the money is being spent too quick, have a conversation about slowing it down. Uh, if you're not attracted to your, or if you're not sexually satis- satisfied, you should have the conversation and say, baby, I'm, I think we should work on uh, our sex. We think we should explore each other's bodies. Matter of fact, let's change our atmosphere, travel somewhere, you know, get in a room, be romantic with each other. Uh, I think that uh, there's nothing that a marriage cannot come back from. Now, do I, I'm not promoting any type of physical abuse, but other than physical abuse, I think that women today are so influenced by their music, mm. so infu- influenced by celebrity status. And you're working at McDonald's, but you're listening to what Cardi B says, and you, but and you're married or you're working at Home Depot and you're married and you're listening to what another woman has to say. Let me, let me, let me stop for a second. I, I saw Cardi B, and this is what I was going to tell you earlier. I saw Cardi B in her kitchen, pointing at the camera, rapping her lyrics, the curse words, everything. And then her daughter ran in the kitchen, and she almost broke the phone trying to turn it off. People asked her in the comments, why did you turn it off? She said, I don't allow my daughter to listen to that kind of music. But you're making the music for other people's daughters. 
to listen to that's the same age as your child. And so, so what, so what I'm saying by using that example is look how influential Cardi B is to women. I don't cook, I don't clean, but I still got a ring. You can too. Beyonce just did a song called church girl that says you can be a hoe all day. You could go sleep with five or six men and you could still go to church and Jesus will love you and, and not have anything to say about you or to you. Right. You could be a you could be a church girl. Uh, now the definition of a church girl is not a woman who goes to worship, but now the definition of a church girl in the young women's minds, Beyonce just reinvented the word, and now church girl means you could go have sex in the middle of the song. You know what really messed me up? She used the Clark sisters as her background, so she sampled their music and used their voices as the background, and she's saying thotty 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 thotty. They agree right? to it. That whole over there. Right. And then you're saying you could be a hoe over there, but and get all the penis you want, but you can still go to church and, and there's no penalty for it. So so I think the in, I think the influence is what's killing marriages today, because a lot of men ain't leaving. If you look at divorce, you ain't going to see you'll see one or two maybe every now and then. But men ain't leaving. Men, men are not leaving their women. Women are leaving their men. But women are men are not leaving their women. And so I think women are influenced. Girl, you got to put up with that. Girl, why are you even still there with him? Girl, I've been gone. Right? They're, they're influenced by people. And I've seen women who are even influenced by their own moms, and their mamas run their marriage and run their households. So I think communication is one. And then doing what Security Boss and Mr. Boss did, taking some time off from people and building your own, your own fortress, your own home, your own life, uh, having your own vision of where you're going before you let those people back into your life. Oh boy, absolutely. That was a big one for us. But let yeah. me do this um super chat from Dre and then we're gonna get back into it. Um complete doesn't mean finish. Iron uh, sharpens iron. Thank you exactly. so much. Dre. You're exactly right. Exactly. So when I read that comment and I, I thought about couples, I don't know how we get to the, the to the end to where we get or decide that we're not gonna work no more. You know, um, they're not going to work at it anymore. I don't know how we get there. Right. But influence. Well, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm a, I can have to accept that from you, but I don't know because I can only see myself advising this person, the woman or the man. I, you know what I see myself saying to them? Stop. Mm -hmm. Just stop. Stop what you're doing. You, you, you're, you're asking me what to do, right? right. How, how do we fix it? So right. my first thing that comes to mind for me is just stop. Stop what you're doing because what you're doing is not working. Now, I'm saying stop today. About eight months ago, I said submit. And mm. what that submission meant then is let God work this thing out because obviously, obviously you two guys are fouling it up, husband and wife. Right. But you know what I mean? Like if um if I'm doing something to Mr. Boss and he's just getting to his wit end with it. I can't stand her. I can't take her or vice versa. I can't stand him. You know, I can't take him. Right. We got to stop. Right. But we're acting like we're so programmed by something, the influences or the outside forces that we can't control our own selves and stop. Yep. It's no self-control because now it's popular. It's popular to be able to go out and be sexually liberated. Right. Women are, are clapping for other women. You you hear Tia? Tia says, "Free yourself and go and be sexually liberated. Go out and you could uh, uh, Gabrielle Union, a high influencer, over a million followers. Go out and 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 be sexually liberated, women. You don't have to submit to a man. You don't have to be in the house cooped up with a man. And, and security boss, I work in the corporate world, and you know what's harmful and hurtful to me to hear these women. I wish I could record them, but but I, I know I can't." <laughs> But hearing these women talk about the men that they they screwing and going home to their husbands and no, you ain't here. You are not here. You no, no. I'm not. You're you gonna have to slip a recorder into that. I'm not uh, right. until you can bring me back some evidence. I'm not accepting that. Security boss. The I'm girl, I, I've heard a young lady say to another young lady, mm -mm. "Girl." I got him a job here. She said, where he work at? She said, he worked downstairs. She said, really? She said, mm-hmm. She said, girl, you want your man close, huh? So I'm thinking, oh, they hired her husband? And she said, girl, now 
Uh, I don't have to be sneaking around, like trying to leave the house, going to the grocery store, meeting up with him, trying to do quickies and all this other stuff. Like we work together. We can go have lunch together. We can spend more time together. We can go sit in the car together. Like I can see him. She say, I'm telling you, girl. She say, now my husband is not going to think I'm doing nothing because I'm at work all day and I come straight home from work. And so oh. now you're basically her, and the friend is right there with her. Girl, you I'm to girl. It's given, girl. You know what they say in these days, girl. It's given uh, that you got it figured out, right? You know it's given that you got it figured out. Uh huh. And she said, "Yeah." Listen to this. I'm gonna tell you how strange that is because I could be talking to a group of women, and I could be saying to these ladies, "Listen, protect yourself because influence is real." And it if is. you're a married woman you wouldn't want to hang out with single people because single people or single young ladies think different than you do. Mm -hmm. And they would tell me all day that I'm the problem. Yep. Um, I I'm insecure about my husband. Mm -hmm. You know, he, the one might be looking at the woman and, you know, women don't do nothing. No, they don't. They and don't. I'm saying ladies, y'all got to stop playing. Yep. Women do do something. Yep. Women will have an extra marital affair. We got to mm -hmm. stop playing like this. And they'll feel like it's okay if somebody is encouraging it. Now, I done met a couple of side chicks and I question, uh -huh. I question them. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? You know, what you doing? Why are you messing with a married man? And so they stay away from me because they, they see me coming and they, they don't see these videos. And I'm like, look, you have no business being or sleeping with a married man now you have knowledge of this now what you did when you didn't know i, I i'm totally I, i'm with you on that but now you know it's time to cut that stuff off because people don't understand that it's a special kind of bond between a husband and wife and mm -hmm. women sometimes may not be totally stable the wife because right, right, right. if you feeling like she's been a good wife she feeling like she's innocent and she mm -hmm. ain't done nothing wrong this this kind of stuff you can't take this kind of humiliation You're exactly and you know what security boss look at what miss mill said dang bm you work with some ratchet women listen <laughs> let me tell you something Mills. you if you would think that they come to work with purple hair green hair dressed all stupid no this is corporate, corporate america, america. These, mm -hmm. these women look good their hair look good they smell good mm -hmm. they classy they walk with class but if you get them in a private conversation they tell everything but it's a different woman. M. Mills, let me tell you something. We, we're, we're used to the ratchet girls having these type of behaviors, but it's different. Now it's the corporate woman with the money who feels like she's in power. Yes. She can do whatever the heck yes. she wants to do, and she can have a man she won't. But yes. that's I didn't know she was a married woman. I thought yes. she was single. Yep, all of them, they walk around with their wedding rings on. Ooh. They go have sex on their lunch breaks, clear quickies, and come back to work and they talk about it, whispering about it. And I said one day, I said one day, I'm going to just pass through there and just sit my phone on the desk and with the record on, leave it right on top of that desk, just record the whole damn conversation one day. Because people are not going to believe it. Like people didn't believe that mamas keep their kids from their daddies until I recorded and showed the world. Oh yeah, people, they did, yeah you did that. Now people, you, you can, if you can, oh, black man, that's bad. But if you can get us a voice on, on the side, on the, man. the corporate <sighs> woman, going in the bathroom. I don't want to hear, but just the conversation about her being able to do it or thinking it is okay to do would be enough for me. Because Chris, that's, that's, that's another type of dirtiness right there. <laughs> security boss, let me tell you this. And I, I swear to God, I'm gonna leave it alone. One of the ladies security, when I teach this woman is very attractive woman, got a wedding ring on her thing. When she walk into a room, her presence demands respect. So what I'm saying is men won't even come at her wrong. Right. Because they know oh, she's married, you know, leave her alone. But she's a very attractive woman. Very great position in the company. <laughs> T-Shaw, you are too funny. t black man. Are you t I know. I'm like, black man, please be telling them. She, she said, she said, I'm telling the truth. She said, black man, you are telling are the truth. Telling the truth? Black man, you are telling the truth. I'm, the, I'm like, black man, please be telling me a lie. This can't be the, the case. This, this woman said this, y'all. And people, if you're at home, I hope you're sitting down. This beautiful woman sitting talking to these other younger women and middle aged women, she said, Girl, whew, the boy that just started downstairs, girl, he got that work. Oh, baby. She said, One day he put it on me so bad. Girl, one day he was like, Oh, I forgot my condoms. And she said, Girl, she said, I can't get pregnant no more on my Tuesday. 
She said, I didn't have my kids. She said, girl, that boy put that thing on me. Oh, baby, I didn't know what to do. She said, baby, that boy, he let go all up in me. And she said, and, and she said, <laughs> Black man. <laughs> I'm telling the truth. This what and when she <laughs> said when she said the security about this to end, I'm done. She okay. said, she said when she got up, she didn't have time to go home and take a shower. She said she had gave the man oral surgery and gave the man vaginal time. And she was about to go have dinner with her husband. And she said, I'm gonna try to prevent from kissing my husband tonight or having sex with my husband tonight because I'm definitely not gonna be able to go home and take a shower. I'm telling you the truth. It's a security about I'm sitting like this. This man about to come pick you up. They carpool. This man, I'm, I'm, I say, I'm going to make it my business to just stay here late today so I can see her walk to this car. This man got out the car, walked oh, out of the car, chivalry, opened her door, and he said, hey, baby, how was your day? And kissed her dad in the mouth. Oh, my God. He kissed her dad in the mouth. And no, I said, I'm not believing it. I'm not, I'm not accepting it. It's not acceptable. Yeah. Oh, these hoes ain't loyal. No. <laughs> I am not. I am not. I am not. I am not. I ain't got no visual, nothing. I'm not accepting that. Oh, that they terrible. behavior on all levels. <laughs> yeah, that was Mr. Boss. <laughs> terrible. Are you, are you telling us we don't got that bad? Oh. <sighs> Have we gotten that bad? It, they terrible security. About, it breaks your heart because then oh, yeah, that, that it does. It does. It does. I'm not even a husband, but I'm saying to me, I'm saying to myself, damn, she put on this front every day like she's this beautiful, submissive wife, loving, caring mother. And and when we have family day at the business, she got a husband, a kids there, and she just looked like a mom and a wife. And oh, girl, you letting this young dude just in your husband? Why? I, 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 oh my god black man oh, so it's, 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 okay so okay we gotta get back i'm gonna record them when i get that recording out. when i get that recording security about you met you you're gonna want to take a week off look you gonna bring that recording here we all gonna be in there listening like this what she say black man what she say oh lord oh, listen, my god. listen listen i don't even want to hear that but that would i would have to be there for this to be true because i am not i am not accepting that these ladies uh, stooping this low. I am not. Secure, so, what would you say if you passed by that conversation? If you were in corporate America and you passed by these women and they were and these married women were talking what I just told you, what would you say to these women? Okay, so to be perfectly honest with you, I have heard some women that are not married with no discretion talk along those lines. So <sighs> I don't know how I would be a little disgusted and I probably wouldn't walk by. I probably would stop and I would say something and they would hate me more um, because I, I just couldn't do that. I, you know, women, we have to be more, we have to be better than that. Um, if you don't want your husband, I would say divorce your husband, especially if you're going to try to humiliate him because guess what black man, if anybody ever found that out, do you know how devastating oh. that would be? To oh. any man, but then he's coming to the job. Uh, but see, I've heard women speak very reckless before, you know, with the P, the P measuring and talking about, you know, how they do it and all this and that. I've heard that. That's 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 local talk. And and there's some married women be sitting around listening, but they don't have anything to add. But to hear a married woman say that she actually participated. Would would throw me off a bit. Security. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Peaches say SBI used to say the same, but those women are out. Yes. I can imagine if if I'm listening to a single woman mm -hmm. in so much graphic detail that it ain't fall for and, and have married women listening, then it would they would be the influence, because the influence, you're right, Peaches, the influence would be there too. So that ain't I'm just I, you know what? I just don't like people to play with people. I think marriage is such a deep thing. I think marriage is one that we should coven, you know, we should covenant it. We should protect it. We should cover it. It should just be, it should be so, you know, one of the most important decisions you make in your life. That's my fallback, you know, 
Secure the box. My fall back. If ain't nobody else got me, he need to have me. So if I'm telling this man, black man, you fall back, your wife got to have you. But this situation right here, this man fall out, she might move to the side and be like, damn, you well, you ain't gonna get up, you know? Yeah, and security boss, I wish my wife was out here. And, and shout out to my wife. She's in there take helping the kids be home right now. I think a couple, yeah. So if helping finish what I started. But anyway, my wife told me this when she was working for that for a company, a corporate company. She said a woman, a girl told them just they were all sitting around eating lunch because the, the company bought lunch. And she said a girl told her them, they said, what's your bucket list? And somebody said skydiving. Somebody said driving a Ferrari. Somebody said driving a Lamborghini, all this other stuff. One girl said, y'all are on my bucket list. I want to be able to sleep with a married man. I want, I want to sleep with a married man. Okay. So that brings us back to this topic because I'm too much. I mean, that's too much, y'all. It's too much. <laughs> let, me, let me just read uh, Brother Clement's uh, super my chat Lord. here. Thank you so much for your $2 super chat because we done fell off the cliff. And we wonder why they get deleted. Ah, oh, go. Oh, go, go to rats. You ain't said. Listen, thank you, thank you, thank you, Clint. Lord, I'm oh, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, if we're talking about an institution that would bring two people so close together that they're talking about completing each other, becoming stronger, being a force that nobody can take down, then why are we playing with this? Why are we? What? Well, where are we going wrong? And, and we're going back to answering that young man's question about what to do. My first thing would be the first thing you can do is just stop. I always look phenomenal, classy, and amazing. Thank you, Tap. You, uh, you got to stop. If you really want your marriage and this has fallen off a cliff, I need y'all to stop. <laughs> stop. Go get that woman. First, we got to stop. We got to breathe. We got to, you know what we got to do? We got to humble down. We got to humble down because right now, or any time before that, we was acting in, acting in pride and, and envy or whatever. We was just being too prideful that we couldn't even see our, our way. We got to humble down. We got to stop. That's what I see. Oh, my gosh. You're killing me, black man. <laughs> I'm losing hope. He just, I know. When I talk to black man, he be doing, look, black man, we're going to have to put you on strike. For, for years, I've been, this is security about for years. I'm over here still thinking about oh, it. I'm, just, been, I'm over yeah. here just pissed off about it right now for years. Like, why are you going to ignore me? Right I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Put you on strike and you didn't say for years I've been talking about it. For years. You on strike. Like, man, you do this to us. You you got me and Peaches down on marriage right now. I love marriage. I love women. I want women to do the right thing, to be married to these good men. But the things that y'all, y'all are just making women too regular. Women ain't got no business being this regular. We ain't got no bit. We ain't supposed to know all the tricks. We ain't supposed to know all the lingo. We are not supposed to be in the streets. How do we get back? How do we get back to where we were? How do, how do we get our value back? That what you just call right there. That that's negative zero. There's no value in that. I don't care how she look. I don't care what kind of corporate job she got. She has a negative value. Negative. Oh gosh. Security, but I try to be. Let me read what Vaughn got to say. Go we are growing more and more um perverse. perverse. Oh, yeah. As a yeah, yeah. Right. all that is in the world, the lust of the eye, yeah, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. You are so right. And whew, I don't know what to do. I mean, I'm with peaches now. I'm you get I'm getting very discouraged because. They like this type of behavior like it's going to take them somewhere. It will take them somewhere, but they're not going to like where it's taking them. Security boss, I go to work and I try to motivate the people around me because that's what I am. I'm a great motivator. And I and some of them catch on. Some of the women are very classy. Some of the women are family women. They don't they don't give that attitude. So no, I'm not going to say all women are like that, that I work that work in a corporate America. But I'm, but a large, large number of them are. And one day, it doesn't matter what kind of man you are. You could be white, black, big, small, medium. You are, um, and uh, um, what what do they call it in other countries when you eat strange food? Uh, you are uh, uh, oh, 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 um, a delicacy a to delicacy. these women okay, on, a, okay. on mm -hmm. a daily basis. Especially if you have your wedding band on, they love married men. They love messing around with married women. So one day, I walked in. And they had the lunch plan, and, I, and they said, oh, we got to figure out what we're going to get for the dirt, dessert. I said, okay, let me go back and ask them. I said, hey, guys, so listen, 
Last time we had chocolate cake, y'all want to do the same thing? What kind of dessert you want? This girl look at me. She said, you? <laughs> she, she said, you? And she said, ah, <laughs> uh, oh, look, he can't talk, y'all. He's speechless. Shit. I'm telling you. I come on, I say, I say, wife, let me tell you what happened at work today. I was going to be a brownie. Somebody, oh, yes. I'm t listen, listen, these women don't care. They don't care. And they're married. And they call you work husband. You know how many times I've been called it? That? Oh, you so supportive. Husband. Good morning. When I walk in, good morning, work husband. I got you. I got you. See, this is why I tell ladies a lot of times, I protect my marriage. I do everything I can. I stay away from influence. And I think they... I don't, I don't think they understand. You know, they, they often, you know, refer to me as maybe not being a good girlfriend. Maybe mm. I'm not, but I don't um, do anything by chance. I know I have a good man. Yeah, you do. You know what I'm saying? I know this. I know I have a good looking husband who's well over six feet tall. <laughs> you know, <laughs> who meets all these, you to sleep. You know, you know, we meet all these criteria. So why would I be so, you know, so uh, naive to think that no other woman in this world would want him? You know what I'm saying? That's a ridiculous thought, but I'm not even putting that on him or anyone. I'm just saying I'm that's we're married. Mm -hmm. We're covering. I'm I need to be strong where he's weak and he, I need, he needs to be strong where I'm weak. You know what I'm saying? Right. Exactly. But we're supposed to have each other's back. And that's what I'm there for. And that's what marriage is about. Yep. But let's read this super chat right here. My Lord. Trey, Trey, thank you so much. He said, SB, this is a generation who know not God. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you're right. This world right here belongs to Satan. You're right. They want the idea of marriage, but not the responsibility. That boy preacher. Yeah. Not the responsibility, SB. Um, there's no value, morals, or standards. Wow. But you know what? You, you see these women? They got everything to a T. The lashes, the brows, the complexion, the, the weight, the body, that which appears from the exterior as having it together, right? But there's nothing inside. Broken. Broken. What woman would go to her job every day risking her four kids and her husband's relationship? Yeah. What, what woman would do that? And why? Not what woman, but why? What's, what, what can we do? How can we heal this person? How can we help this situation? I mean, because you don't want it to be found out. That ain't the way you fix it. I mean, that's deadly. That's, yeah, superficial. You're right. You know, you don't want it to be fixed like that. You want her to correct that problem and, and come to the senses that she's supposed to have. You're not. Oh, black man. And, and you know, the other girls at the job know that you're doing. It. So when your husband, the most embarrassing thing is security. Boss, that's, why, that's why I swear to God, I don't go to no more company events. I, I, I can't. Because when those husbands show up with those wives to be talking like that. All the other women be in the corner. <laughs> He walk around not, looking. He walk around looking like a dumb ass, and he don't even know why they laughing at him. They think. How about the hairdresser, a black man? How about your hair? How in the salon? You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, how they got me? I yeah. know. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, man, that girl got some good old hair. I said, wait, that sound like my girl. I said, wait, what's her name? <laughs> what's her name? <laughs> Shit, I did it happen to me. I ain't lying to you. Ooh. I man, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I, we, listen, I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing. I hope that we appeal to women who want to make the change. It's just like we was talking to Mr. Light. Tisha, you be on it. It says it's not just corporate women. I've had women in the church try to come for my husband's time. Oh, yes. <laughs> come Sugar on. Bomb, where you at right now? Sugar bomb. Sugar bomb. <laughs> Sugar bomb. Come on. Know you hear me? Come on. Where you at? Where you at? I need yeah. you right there, girl. Sugar bone. Sugar bone. Sugar bone. Sugar bone. Where you at, girl? Ah. Sugar bone will be fighting us. Sugar bone must be done left the room because she would she she'd have had a comeback on us about 10 times. But I need sugar bone right now. We got to even out this playing field because right now. Ooh, ooh, hey, all she even got some started. Cause you remember what's the guy's name that had the church in the, got the church in Atlanta? He did have one in North Carolina, but they kicked him out of North Carolina. Uh, what's his name? Uh, oh, Pastor Gray. Wait, 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 wait! They done kicked Pastor Gray out of North Carolina. 
Yeah, yeah, he in Atlanta now. Greenville. No, ain't he? He in Atlanta now. I think he left that campus. Uh, oh no, I don't know. I'm just saying he was in Greenville, but yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, he was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man, but remember the, the last time we did a story on him? He was in the hospital. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he out. But you, but but like like he did. He up there all saving all those lives, preaching every Sunday, and the woman right there sleeping with him in the church. And he and she got recordings of him she, because he hurt her feelings. And so she said, oh, you want to hurt my feelings? Go back to your wife and not be with me. Listen to these recordings, world. And in the recording, he's telling her, thank you so much for being here for me. I love the way you treat me. My wife can't cook. She can't boil water. He talk about his wife. Yes, you got to go listen to the recording. She no, recorded him and okay. played it. I'm not going to let y'all tell <sighs> He telling her his wife don't do, don't do. But he sit up there on Sundays. My beautiful wife of 19 years. Come on up here, baby. God has covered us and loved us for so many years. Touch your, if you got a good wife like mine, and as soon as he get off the stage, he calling her. My wife don't even dress. She don't want to go to the gym. She can't boil water. She can't cook. I got to eat microwave dinners because my wife can't like, cook. Man, you are blowing my story up. These women be wilding out. They show do. You are blowing the topic just completely out of water. We're trying to get people married, but the things that you're saying right now, I wouldn't let a man look at a woman, but don't look at that one. Oh, no, not that exactly. one. No, not that one either. I'll mm -mm. be like, no, not that one. Mm -mm. <laughs> well, we, black men, it can't be this way. I know a lot of good women that don't think this way. Please, Lord, tell me they don't. They don't think this way, black men. They still honor the, the, the principles of God and believe in God and marriage. I don't know how we it's, it's infiltrating the system. I get it, but huh. Uh, see, nurse fans said, no, listen, security boss, let's let's subtract it some years. So let's take 15 years off of a man. If he's 30, let's take 15 years off of him. He's 15. My son is 15, very handsome, dark skinned young man, tall, very athletic, plays football, very handsome young man. Oh, and he has, me no hope. Go ahead. Go ahead. And security boss, I'm, I wish I would have I'd have messaged him and tell me to bring his cell phone. The girl sent him a message and say, Hey, sweetie, what you doing? My son didn't see the message. So she sent him a long message back saying, Are you fucking around with another bitch on me? What? Wait, 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 stop. Stop. You saying a 15 year old girl sent this message to my son and told okay, him, okay, we're done. Oh, we're done. Tomorrow, don't we're talk done. to me. Don't we're say nothing to me. Don't even look my way because you ain't nothing but a fuck. But I mean, went in. Black and I told man. my son, Black man, not doing this. No, said, no, no, no. We're not going to do Black man. Blocker. 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 Black man, no. We're not talking about a negative thing about another black woman this night. We're not. We're going to be praising the good black women. M. Mills, T. Shaw, the Bloomin' Ebony, Peaches. Yourself. Myself. We're going to start praising women tonight because we got to find this is this is outrageous. We're not going to be doing this. Nurse Fancy, who are already married. We're not going to be talking about this, this, this stuff that we can't change anymore. I don't know what to do. 15 year old, I don't know. I think I threw the phone out the window. I don't know. That's too much. That's but why I'm going to have a show. I'm going to do a show with young men. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be the host, and I'm going to host them and have these young teenage boys on there, 15, 16, 17, and I'm going to let them tell you. What, 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 black man, listen. I understand that you are in a place where you've been exposed to a lot. My Lord. <laughs> All the time. What are your feelings while you're there? I mean, it sounds like to me, listen, and I'm not trying to be Debbie Downer, but it sounds like to me this is really altering your mind do you still do you still identify i know you do but you uh, hear what i'm saying yeah how easy or how hard is it for you to identify with a good woman it's it's very easy oh, okay because let me tell you why it's it's very easy because when a good woman comes through the door her aura speaks for her before she even says something you know she's a good woman and so the aura speaks for that i'm i think that god put me in these positions to be able to 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 bring a light to it, basically, because it doesn't alter me too much. Where I'm saying, oh no, it's basically saying, guys, listen, this is what's out there, and it shocks me to hear women talk like this. It shocks me to see a 15 year old girl talking to another 15 year old boy like this, um, and so or even coaching, coaching football, seeing the mamas how they talk to their sons. Like, so yes, I'm, I'm around it a lot because I put myself in these, I put myself in these positions where I'm coaching football, 
Sometimes basketball, they call me now for basketball. I told them, just give me a few weeks. I, I, I think about it. Basketball, but being around these single moms, being around these dads, being around confusion, arguing, fussing, going to the corporate world, listening to these women sit down and talk about their husbands like dogs, and then talk about the fine man they just hired and who going to get who going to hit him first. So, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm around this type of stuff. Uh, but, yeah, it don't alter me because I want my daughters to get married. I want them to have husbands and, and families. I want my sons to be married and have wives. I still believe in marriage. I just well, think I know, I know you do, but I'm just wondering because I'm, I'm trying to put myself in your shoes. Are you ever compelled to um, try to add some correction to the situation? I do, but this corporate America. So big black guy coming oh, into a oh, group oh, of oh. women saying yeah. something to them. Then I become an HR oh. hazard. Right. Uh, you know, uh, he was talking about, you know, you know how it is. You know, we're in the Me Too era. You can't send them to, I can't go correct these women. They're going to be in the HR office and it's nine of them and one of me. Who they going to believe? Um, you're, right. you're right about the corporate America. I guess I wasn't really thinking about the corporate America when I said that. I was mostly on that 15 year old girl. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was on having a conference with the mom or something. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, I, I just don't know because you are in a place where you hear a lot and you see a lot of um, just misbehaving because, like, you know, in these spaces, when we try to, like, for instance, if I use those examples that you gave me, it wasn't my experience, it's yours. But say I use those experiences or those examples and I try to talk to women, they would tell me that they don't know nobody like that. Matter of fact, I heard someone say last night they don't know of any women that go on girls trips and have sex with people. Shit. I promise you, I, I, I would not tell you. They said they don't know, of, and especially not anybody that would go with them. They oh, don't okay. know of any women that okay. would um, go. They don't know of women, of a woman or women going on girls trips, having sex. They don't know of that. Oh, okay. I'm just saying that was their position. So that would be the comeback or the pushback for me is that, no, nah, I don't know of anybody that would say or do that. I, what kind of woman? What kind of woman would sleep with a man that's on her job and have a husband? That's how they would approach me. Come on, black man. You know I'm serious. I you know, know it. You, I, 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 you witnessed it. Yeah, start laughing at them. This are they liars, and the ones telling you they're probably the ones that's doing it. They're liars. Yeah, but that's not helping the situation. Like, for instance, because I wasn't there. I'm just giving examples of things I know that are real or things that I picked up on, from right. you or whatever, you know. Right, right, but right. They're still denying it because in their mind, we are just perfect. Women don't do no wrong. We don't smell good looking men and sniff two and three times. We just say, mm, and then keep going. Or, you know, we got these holy eyes. We don't experience these things. So how do we get corrected? How do we get how do we get back on track of being women and ladies? And being good wives, and we can't even account for the junk that we do have inside of us. You know what, security boss? I triggered the algorithm. Let me tell you why. What I mean by that? When I said that, look, go back in the chat and count. When I said what I said about these women in corporate America, look how many women got in the chat and said, "Oh, he right, he ain't lying." Oh, I know about it. I didn't hear it right because they know for themselves. They've heard it. They've probably been a part of those conversations or been around those conversations. They've heard it themselves. Christopher Lee says, um, thank you, Christopher, for your $3 super chat. Christopher, Christopher, my man, he'd be looking out for me. Thank you. <laughs> Shout <laughs> out to Chris. A true lady would never tell her bedroom business. I get that. We should be very discreet about our bedroom business and things of that nature, but we can't pretend. Listen, if we're in the process of becoming that woman or that lady, um, we can be humble in what we know, but we can't pretend that this doesn't go on. You have right. to be you have to be honest about what you've done and what you do to change your mindset. You know, I can't be pretending that, you know, I didn't have a child as a single mother and then just all of a sudden got got holy or got, you know what I'm saying? I understand. You know what I'm saying? You have to say this happened and this is I was in this place when it happened. What did Hakeem say? They also claim to not know any single mothers. Not stop, Hakeem. That cannot be true. This can't be true, right? <laughs> Are you kidding? So in other words, the sisterhood is just this strong that we don't do anything wrong. Is that what it is? That's it. Uh, uh, security, security boss, I was, I was listening to Ricky Smiley. And Ricky Smiley had a question of the day. And the question of the day was, who cheats more, women or men? And a lot of people called. But this particular woman, I was on my way to work and I was just listening. 
this particular woman got on the show and she said, they said, what's your name? She said, anonymous. I'm not putting my name out there. They said, okay, cool. They said, who cheat more, women or men? She said, women. She said, but men cheat, they get caught because they're terrible at lying and, you know, they get caught up. She said, women, we're professionals. We can lay down with a man, have sex with him for two hours, go home and like ain't nothing happened, have sex with our husband again. But watch this. She said, it happened to me. That's why she didn't give her name. She said, I was at work. My husband has a great job. He's a great man, a great father, a great provider. I only work because I want to, not that I have to. This is what she said to Ricky. She said, but a younger man started working with us. And he was a dark-skinned, tall man. And she said, he started complimenting me. Then compliments started to say, hey, listen, you want to get a bite? Then she said she became curious about how it would be to have sex with this man. And she said it was on her mind for months. And she finally went in and had started having an affair with him. She said not because her husband did anything wrong. She said because she had to feed into her curiosity. See, that was one of the major things I talk about um, of women not being or living in the means of their husbands, having to feel like they have to be in the corporate world or going out in the world every day, being exposed to certain things that they, you know, that's an influence. That's you. She's uncovered. You know, and curiosity. What is that? If you, what, you, mm, shut up. Okay, so listen. Let me do these super chats because I don't want to say the wrong things. So let me do these super chats. <laughs> uh, Hakeem, listen. I cannot believe someone would pretend that they don't know a single mother. But okay, thank you so much for five dollars super chat. He says, "No lies, SB. Um, I can I kid you not, ma'am. Listen, I don't believe that. I know that everybody knows a single mother. I mean, it's just guaranteed." Clement Gray, thank you so much. A bunch of women on Girls Trip is either employees or, or applicants for Molly May services. <laughs> Listen, I just wonder sometimes, um, do they are they going for their own self gratifications though? You know, because I because I, you, when you just mentioned curiosity, I'm just wondering a lot of times because you know women don't see uh, being involved with another woman as as cheating a lot of times. Right. They just they was just curious. So, you know, those type things play close attention to how mistress mistresses move. It keeps me from being naive. I don't miss nothing. Listen, you ain't the only one. I don't play with it. I already told you, Tisha, I don't play. I don't play with that. No, you know, no, I, I guard against that. Anything that has the appearance of not being correct. Right. I'm on it, you know, and it's, it's, it's all good, though. It's all good. It is all good. So what Miss Sweetie say? Miss Sweetie Sasha, it went away. But um, black man, we have to be on in a place, and and I'm saying this because this is what I want. I feel like the mm -hmm. nuclear family is the way we should go, right? Right. We have to be in a place where we are saying to women, you have you are valuable, but you're valuable in this position mm -hmm. as a mother, as a wife, um, you know, nurturing, being the head of your house, assisting your husband mm -hmm. with whatever it is he needs to do. Mm -hmm. Why is that not enough? Why do we have to have so much more, you think? And do you think it's just because of the time that we're living in? Or is this gradually just been, well, of course, I know it has been gradually happening along the way. What do you think? It, again, it goes back to what I said earlier. I think if you take the influence away, I think you take uh, what, what Logic said the other day. You, you stop incentivizing bad behavior and you take influence away, I think that would make the family stronger. Yeah, but you just mentioned some women that were not incentivized. Right. Well, so you they, do they po power. Because now these women make great money. That's right? And so now they're on a power trip. My money, my time, girl. Take this money and be free. My girl back. Hey, Sugar Bomb. Sugar Bomb. I, girl, I was looking for you a little bit ago. I don't know where you went, but you know. That, huh? that was her. Sugar bomb. You, say? you know what? I can't. I can't even begin to explain. I needed you about what, about fifteen minutes ago, black man. Did yeah, we? About need fifteen. About 15, we needed her. Needed her. She didn't show up. You missed it. I don't know what to say. I don't know. What she to said she'd be on girl trips having a ball. Yep, with balls. Oh, mm, oh, oh mm. Anyway, sugar bomb. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you a question. I mean, be honest with me. I know that you might not find value. Well, I got it. Do you see that there's a lot of value in being sexually liberated as a woman? Uh-oh. 
I would like to know, do you see that there's a lot of value in that woman being sexually liberated? Uh oh. Um, Sugar Bob, I would love for you to come up one day, but I get it. I'm not trying to force you, but I would I like your your input. So you help. Sugar Bomb, Sugar Bomb, um, she's just like the, the modern woman. They do a lot of talking um under the cover, but won't walk in the light to stand up for nothing. But that's so okay. She, I mean, she don't want to be thrashed for her beliefs. I just want to understand them. And my question now is, do you think that there's value in being sexually liberated? The Wizard Kelly, hello, how are you doing today? Is there a incentive? Compare how black women live versus the Chinese, Indian, Arabic, et cetera. Women, women. Um, is there really an incentive being honest? Being honest, is there really an incentive? Listen, um, what black men, I think, alluding to is that there are a lot of women that are being incentivized by the federal government. You know, they, exactly. they exercise bad behavior, you know, and don't have to pay for it. In divorces, a lot of times people say that women win often. And then you have child support women. You know, all the laws are geared, structured towards the women winning so they can actually make bad decisions and feel like they can come out OK. I don't know if I agree with that totally. But I understand what the men are saying. But I just feel like marriage is so much more than that. There's so much more than this. And, yep. and you know, I'm just trying to figure out where, how can we get this back in the, you know, what is a woman feeling about herself? Why, what is the need to be so liberated, you know, and especially with when it comes to an emotional act of having sex? That's very dangerous. It so is. I just want to know. Very. Oh, nice. she said no. I don't. Is she talking to someone else? Shook about. Oh no, I don't. Oh. Oh, so you so no value? You don't think it's oh wow? I'm surprised. Black man, what you think about that? What she say? She says no, I don't. Yeah, she's a liar. Look at the picture that she got as a as a as a, as a, as a uh, emoji. Wait a minute, like, what is she lying about? Hold on, hold on. Let's make sure we're talking about the same thing. I asked her, did she know what the value is? Their value in a woman being sexually liberated, and she says, "No, I don't." She so don't think I'm, there's I'm value gonna, in a woman that's being. There's said, no value in it. Uh, she 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 agrees with it though. Ooh, Erica, 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 be coming through with the news. Look at this. She said, "I just saw a report today that there is an increase of black women with HIV." Oh, oh my God. God. Oh. <laughs> Okay, wait a minute, though. Wait a minute. How are we having an increase in black women and not having an increase in black men? Wait a minute. What you saying? Uh-oh. That's that 20% again, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You that think you man? all, yeah, you think you all that going around the world spreading that cat? <laughs> <laughs> You're so soup. You're soup. <laughs> I'm no, I'm not. Listen, we got to get, Sugar Bump said, I don't think uh, being sexually liberated is valuable. However, I don't have to be a nun. No, 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 no. I'm asking you a question. Okay. I'm not asking you to be a nun. I'm asking you what is the value in it? So if you don't think it's valuable at all, why participate? We have as women, as a woman, we have to have value and standards for ourselves or we'll be cast away. We'll be on a list with a number. So what keeps us being you know where are our standards if we give away our prize i guess that's the question i'm asking we give our prize away too much we we don't have value and if we want to keep ourselves valuable how do we do that and it's not being a nun it's not being a nun sugar bomb i thought sugar bomb was married and that's the thing she is okay so i'm not gonna put her out there like that okay wizard kelly says because the women are messing with a small group of men they are literally destroying the race ah no 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 i'm not accepting that y'all i understand but we're not going to put all this on the women we're not i'm not gonna let y'all do it because we have to work this thing together black men we got to work it together but we need to find out how we can fix it we can't just keep putting it on one gender of individuals if there's something broken about this women, these women, we all broke. Just think of it. We all broke. Because guess what? There's some man somewhere broken that's obliging her. Yep. So we got we got to yeah. fix it. I'm not gonna just I'm not just gonna accept that the woman, no, we gotta fix it. I'm not we gotta fix it sometime. But, but now, security boss, let me ask you a question. 
Yes, sir. Um, there are men out there obliging these women. You are, I, I agree with you 100%. Oh, excuse me, y'all. Mm -hmm. Bless you. Bless you. So I want to ask you this. Mm -hmm. What about the woman that we talked about earlier? The mm -hmm. woman that looks like you, she's beautiful. She's classy. She's well-spoken, but she, but she has this type of behavior. What is the, and she has a husband, beautiful children, husband who opens her car door for her and let her in the door every day. <laughs> what, what, mm -hmm. what, what do we say to those women? You got what me. Is, I don't know. That's what I. That that was my point to you. Are there any women that think like you do? Not particularly like you do, but any women who have the thought or want to. What can I say? Want to be married on your job that sees the same. Thing? Ah, bless you, bless you, bless I have you. allergies and something just went away, and then now yeah. I'm gonna be sneezing for the next thirty minutes. But um. Is there anyone on your job that thinks the same way that you do about marriage that that would want to reach out to that young lady and be like, look, this isn't this isn't good. You got to keep this away from work. What, what, I think that's part of the problem. I think that men can't say anything because of it puts them in jeopardy. I know you uh, can't say anything, right. but and, are then there any comes, women? Right. and then when it comes to the women, women, the women that do believe in a nuclear family or marriage. Their, their line is this, and so many people in the chat may agree. Put a one in the chat if you agree with this, that those women say, that's none of my business. I got my own family to worry about. That ain't got nothing to do with me. That could be the case. They're going to do what they want to do. Let them do what they're going to do. I ain't got, that ain't got nothing to do with me. You might be totally right about that, and that's kind of like where I'm at. A lot of people say that to me because they always say, what you look like holding somebody grown accountable? You know, They say things like that. And it's not that I'm trying to hold you accountable to make you wrong. I just want everybody to be better. You know what I mean? I just want everybody to be better. I'm not trying. I mean, because I've done a lot in my life, <laughs> but I just want everybody to be better. I don't want somebody to, you know, if you get to do some things that are out of order and you can recover from it and you're OK and to go on and live a good life, that's something to rejoice in. But you don't want to play in that little murky water or that pond of pee that y'all talk about all the time and never get to come out or come out like Erica just said with HIV. Yep. That's what that's that's why I'm that's what I'm trying to do. That's what you know. And I'm saying to you guys, look, your covering is marriage. You're this. And she said, facts, you don't facts. You not daddy. Hmm. And HIV. She's saying only the dads can talk to the young ladies about this. Is that what is that what she's saying? Well, you listen. That seems that seems crazy because when you get down to the sisterhood, the sisterhood can talk about all things negative. They can talk about how they can the, the size of it, the position of it, um, where they gonna get it next, who gave it to them the best. What what was it, black man, that you said the young lady said to the other ones how how he worked it out and all that. They can talk about all of that, all of that. And, and tell you exactly how to do wrong. Tell you exactly how to scam somebody out of something. Tell you exactly how to set up, how you, how to jump them on a trip to Mexico. Could tell you how to do all of that, but they can't tell you nothing good that'll save your life. And they say they're the sisterhood, and they love you. They can talk cold sh about you, cold junk about you. Another sister talk talk cold, can tell you how to tell you every day. How black men don't like you anyway because you're dark. You ain't the black man's preference anyway. Why in the heck would I ever entertain a group of people that would have that kind of sentiment about me, whether it's true or not? Why would I even try to entertain something like that? Exactly. And, and, and HIV should stand for hor horribly infested vagina. Listen, now there's somebody, uh, that, that, listen, there's somebody in the chat right now um it, that that is watching the show right guys thank you so much hit the like button and subscribe button um hakeem says uh hakeem i like saying that because of coming to america mm -hmm. hakeem says no it was clement clement says black man we need to bring back the shame though right and then if you go down you have a young lady uh chorus novel says at Clement, black men should be shamed for dis, dis uh, what should they disproportionately deleting each other. Maybe more black men will be alive today. Can I let me let me say something about that? Then we're gonna I Wait, can hold on. Let me read this first. Okay. Cora says black men should be shamed for disproportionately de deleting each other. Maybe more black men would be alive today. Okay, okay. go ahead, black man. Let's see. Uh, Cora, let me say something to you, Cora. 
if you go to Chicago, probably in the last 15 years in Chicago, 15,000, 20,000 people have been deleted by black on black crime. Maybe, maybe I'll give you that. If you go anywhere else in the world where there's violence, New Orleans, where it ranked in the, in the top of the uh, deletion capital of the world of violence between men and women, women and women, men and men. But Cora, no, none of those cities, whether bad or not, whether gang related or not, you said black men would still be alive. Black men would still be alive if there weren't 20 million of them deleted by black women. Now, if you go to uh, okay, wait a minute, black black man, that is not hold on. But, but she said, I know, but but listen, we're talking about the worst of the worst. You can't get worse as bad as bad, right? But you, so can't, you can't, can't get say, better than better, though. I mean, you know, bad is bad. Why why would why would we measure yours is worse than mine? No, no, that's not what I'm trying to do. What I'm saying is, she said maybe more black men will be alive today. Yes, they would if the violence stopped. But they, but it would be a lot of black men alive too if women were responsible and not in in the last forty years killed twenty million of them. I know, but you do what you're doing, black men, makes no sense because bad is bad. Both of those things are wrong. Right. And this is what the woman done, and this is what the black man done. They both were out of order and wrong. Yeah, I agree. And I agree with I don't that. Know what, Cora, have you been watching Cynthia G? Stop. She has. Don't do it, Cora. Don't do it. But what I'm saying is both things are incorrect and out of order. That's not helping us because mm -hmm. she's right. But I don't know the reason why black men are killing black men. That is an issue and there's a problem. Mm -hmm. Black men is right. Black women have been deleting black kids. Both of y'all are exactly right. So what what is the argument? It's happening. It's both true statements, both real I, things. Because I, I, I want to acknowledge the fact that we black men are destroying each other as well as black women have a part in that too. We can't just say more black men will be alive if black men will stop violence. Okay, that, hold on, hold on. Let me let me get this totally straight. We can focus on it, but it's a short focus because black man is not that man. Right. And those black men that are doing that are men that are needing of some help mm -hmm. or what we call low by vib vibrational mm -hmm. have nothing to live for. Right. They have nothing to live for. And I can't even begin to tell you how we can fix it. Chorus, you know that. How can we fix it? And guess what? Not only do they kill themselves, they kill a whole lot of other innocent people too. White, black, Asian, Hispanic also. Exactly. They do. And just like women, more than black women are deleting babies. You know that too. So we exactly. got to fix the problem. It ain't, it ain't who's doing it doesn't really matter. It's an issue. Yep. How can we fix the fact that black men are doing this? Give them something to live for? Yes, I'm agreeing with you. It is. It's true on both sides. But what is that? What good was that? What good was it? What point did that prove? It's the black man's fault? What? What's the black man's fault? Or it's the woman's fault? What? What's the woman's fault? We individually have to take account for what we do. Yeah, exactly. A woman had an abortion and she deleted. Did I? Oh Lord, y'all! If if a woman deleted a child, uh, she has to take accountability for that. If a man is sitting in prison for deleting somebody that looks just like him, that was his neighbor, he got to take uh, accountability exactly. for that. What? What good is it going? What? What? Cora, you you better than this. That ain't the part. This ain't what we're dealing with. That's low vibrational people that don't give a damn about nothing on both sides. We're not even talking to them anymore. We're talking right. to people who want to make a difference. Yourself. Why black men killing each other? Black women's problem. It what what? The, the move on from a sugar. Why mom. black men killing each other? Black woman's problem. I don't even know what you're talking right right now, sugar mom. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's just a, it's an issue. It's an issue in the community. It's no one's, ain't nothing neither one of y'all or us can do about that. Nope. That's nothing you can do. We can say all day they was raised by single mothers. Guess what? The daddy wasn't there. There's always going to be a comeback on each side. That's not, we're not, we're not helping. Nobody's helping talking about that. I don't know why we're there. We're not going to be low vib vibrational. We're talking about solutions and, and none of that helps the situation. We're talking about the ones who want to be married, get married, and the ones who don't want nothing, because there's a lot of them out there. A lot of them out there. I'm out there who are incentivized by the federal government. There are a lot of them out there that don't want nothing, don't care about nothing, and have no desire to live. They will do what they want to do, and there's absolutely nothing that we can do.
Now, I don't know what they were raised by, but guess what? I do know. I happen to feel like God is innately in everybody because he's the creator. So whatever they can't get in touch with. And when you become of a certain age, you just should know better. Yep. And you go out and kill a man. That's on you. That's on you. Are you saying that the man's oh, come on? I'm not I'm not going there. That doesn't make sense, guys. It makes no sense to blame each other for what the other does. Take responsibility for your own junk. Exactly. There are people out there that are trashy, don't ain't good daddies, never will be good daddies. And guess what? We're learning every day. There are a lot of women that are carrying themselves with no value, no standards, and are very trashy also. And they're doing some of the same stuff that they've talked about the men doing. Case in point. Girl went up there and these girls jumped on her and she's no longer here with us. That's what the sisterhood did. Whether you want to believe it or not, accept it or not. Oh, that's just what well, that ain't the only time. It's about several times, maybe not in Mexico, but they jumping them. Y'all can go look at what's called world star every day and find a sister and sister girls fighting each other. Why are the sister girls fighting each other? If they were down with each other, why are we fighting? They can't even tell you. Can't even nope. tell you. But that's what they do. Then you got the men doing the same thing, but then they 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 go all the way and they actually delete each other. So I don't understand why y'all would want to discuss that. Why? Who are we blaming and why? It's an issue. We have problems. Let's get to the solution of it. And when y'all come up with a solution, put the solution in the comment section. Let's talk about how we can fix it. Mm -hmm. I, that's what I want to do. I want all y'all to be married. Everybody that wants to be, I'm sorry, you know, that want to be married. But y'all keep talking about that junkie stuff. What? what who, why, what? Who are y'all blaming? Blaming for what? I can't make no man do nothing and man can't make me do nothing. So come on, y'all get it together and get on one accord. And that would be to have a solution. Because if you want to continue with the circular argument, y'all got to take that somewhere else. I'm not interested in that. And Cora, I can't believe you because I know what you want. You've discussed it before. So let's don't discuss the circular ar argument anymore. I mean, let's just discuss some solution. And I'm I'm very surprised, not disappointed, but very surprised that you would do that because you're mostly about the solutions. You you usually recognize and stay very grounded in what's going on. But that was, you know, don't be sorry. I want you to come with a solution, Cora. You are working with these kids. You're meeting them right where they need to be, right where we need to be. Is she a teacher? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Erica are meeting them right where we need to be. We need to be figuring out how we can get value into those kids back then. I mean, well, you know, at that point where they are. W Wizard, oh, thank you, Wizard Kelly says, the solution is obvious. Reproducing with 20% of the worst will destroy your community. You know what? You're right. He is exactly right. This is what's destroying us. Okay, good. We, we have identified the problem, and I agree. How do we turn this thing around? And the way I think we should turn it around is to reach out to these women and say, look, guys, you have so much value, more value than this. Let's set a standard for your life. Let's let's talk about what God, the creator, has for you. Understand you bigger, you better than this. Your job as a woman is so much more purposeful than what you're doing right now. How can I get you to see it? How? Help me. Help me. And black man, as a man, you out there telling that man. The same thing. Dude, this is so much more bigger than you. Don't do this. Don't do that. You follow a woman that is this, is this, and this. And you know what I'm trying to say. And we yeah. get back in line. And guess what? We're not going to save everybody. You already know. You yeah, already. <laughs> but we got to get to a point where we're recognizing that real issue. And we're working towards that. Because um, Wizard Kelly said it best. It seems about... And, and, and this is what's crazy, uh, Mr. Kelly. We're allowing that 20% to be the face of the Durham community. They, mm -hmm. What are the 80% doing? Why are we, what, 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 what are we doing? And, and that's the thing, Security Boss. Right now, you have, I'm just looking, you know, I always got to look at the number, make sure you get your likes up. Okay. But you have 44 people watch, 56 likes. Thank you guys for getting those likes up. But right now, you have 56, 44 people watching. If, if, and we're talking about something positive and we're talking about, you talk about solutions right now. How can we come to a solution right now? If you and I and brought some people up on the panel, we start arguing and cussing each other out and having a circular conversation about nothing. You would have 150 people watching in, in five minutes. 
because yeah. people are attracted to the trash. People don't want to do. And I saw that even on my channel. I saw a dip in the numbers. When I stopped cussing out, cussing at females, females stopped cussing at me. We start having these head banging conversations. My numbers then drop significantly because they don't want to hear. They want to pull up and be able to hear an argument. They want somebody to be mad. And you and right now, if you go to all the spots that have those arguments, their numbers are astronomical because people want trash. People, and it's a sad thing that people. I remember back in the day when a, when a person spoke knowledge, people were attracted to it. Now it's just a complete opposite. It, it is. So I, listen, um, Black Man, you were here the other day, but we're going to play Logic's video. We're going to talk about, you remember when Logic and I, I think you were here. Uh -huh. We talked about um, some solutions the other day, and he talked about incentivizing relationships or, or, or marriages is what right. he was talking about. Let's just see this real quick and see if it helps somebody just to figure out where we are. Because it, I'm this right here, this is crazy. I mean, because we're all adults. And we're still going back and forth. I want y'all to take a look at this video. Please take a look at the video, y'all, and let me know what do you all think about it. We're stuck in the, the relationship bubble. And so much is going on that's influencing the relationships. So we're focusing on the relationships. We're not focusing on all the different dynamics that create these bad relationships, laws, policies. Uh, um uh, social credit scores all these different things is this this making the relationships what it is so it's like we're just addressing a symptom instead of actually addressing the the cause i agree with you but i think as long as we keep focusing on bad behavior we'll never get there that's why i'm saying let's just shut it down deal with the ones who want to make the changes um, I would love to hear from you. You know I do. Um, the problems that we have and how the woman that wants to be that wife or that wants to be uh, the positive woman or lady can correct her portion. What can we do to help this problem that we have as, you know, pertaining to the world or this bill or this law? That's what we need to hear because I'm trying to get back to the nuclear family. I'm not interested in people arguing with me no more about this man having to get two or three jobs to take care of me because I want to go on vacation. You know, I may not need to go on vacation. So we're changing mindsets, but see what you what you um, may not understand. And I'm seeing it too. It's new for me too because it's not my life. I'm seeing that there's such an influence on the crap that get into the business of what needs to happen to make that nuclear family work. We can't even get to it, and we keep giving our attention to that instead of saying, "Look, no, this 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 little sect over here trying to ask questions. They want to be married." They're trying to figure out what's going on. So let's just deal with them. And I think if we deaden the noise, the ones that want to be a part of it will come aboard. But and still, while we're just continuing to feed into it, you know, the drama is what wins. See, the reason I, I'm going to give you an example why I said the laws matter. All right. San Francisco just launched a guaranteed income program for transgenders. Yep. So that's what I'm saying. Like we can talk about the symptoms, but that right there, that's going against everything that you preach to nuclear family. I don't know if you did you did you read about that? No, I didn't. It it, it, it you say it's, it's going against it because nobody believes in it. If we get them believing in it, then the transgender won't even matter. I get. I'm I'm agreeing with you. I'm agreeing no, with you. I, I, I know you agree with me. I was just giving you. I was just giving you yeah. this example. I don't know where to start. See, for me, I just think that the two together is the best. Is the best. Um, the wall. That's a wall that keeps you. You know, it's a wall that my covering keeps me from all the junk. So if we can put the covering in place and then teach on what needs to be done to stop, because logic that stuff is starting in school. That's that's we're going now. We're talking about social. It's it's SEL. Social emotional learning. That's what they're teaching our kids now in elementary, where everything is acceptable and you can um, be whoever you want to be. Now, it all sounds good. If you just read the agenda, it sounds really good. It sounds like, oh, this is good. These kids are going to be well rounded and what have you. But you got to get to what the real agenda is for SEL. And what it is is that, you know, now, uh, who was it? Erica, Erica, two weeks ago, I think it was. In our live talked about how middle schoolers no longer have to report to their parents, or I should say it this way, whatever the middle schooler wants to do, 
the teachers now have to accept this as being their life and they don't even have to discuss with the parents. So now what's happening, the middle school girls are hooking up. They're hooking up. Now, I don't know where the father's at, but I'm thinking to myself, if father's around, I think they might be blowing up the school right by now because this is crazy. But see, if, if, if nobody's paying attention to that because we have so much of a war going on between husband and wife or man and woman, then the kids are just falling behind. They, they're identifying as monkeys. They're identifying as, uh, I think they said, she said a couple of other things that we are, they are allowing them to identify with. And also, you know, they can change their gender now at 13. You know, yeah. so that's, I, you know, I, I get what you're saying. I understand. I just don't know where to begin. But size putting a family together, I just think the man is the, the man would be the, the ruling force to stop all this craziness. So I hope y'all understand where I'm going with this. Um, we're not going to hide from this. Um, we're going to continue to push. Anyway, yeah, I don't right. understand where I'm going. Can you hear me, Black man? Yeah, yeah. I was going to ask you a question. But go, ahead. Oh, go ahead. No, no, you can. What percentage of people do you think, just in the United States, we just stay here, in, in the Black community, we'll stay there, United States Black community, what percentage of women do you think want to be married? Mm. I don't know. Um, because when you say you want to be married, like in the times that we're in right now, where it's more beneficial to be unmarried than it is to be married. It's it's that I know that's wrong. I know that we believe differently, but that's the perception of what it is right now. What do you think? What percentage do you think? Okay, so listen, listen to this black man. I got a twist on that because I happen to think that at least we're gonna go marry an age of right, right. we're gonna marry an age 18 to 30. Okay. I think between the ages of 18 and 30 marrying age, about 40% of those women will say they want to be married about 40. Now, listen, in that them saying that they want to be married, this is me, just them saying they want to be married. Right. Right. I'm not telling you what that looks like. I do right. think they have a terrible outlook or don't have an outlook on what marriage looks like. Cause even feminist women have told me they want to be married. I agree. Like, they just want something that looks more like a partnership or something that looks mm -hmm. more like a, a husband. You do what I say. In other words, I still want to be independent, but I still want your companionship as a man also. So right. to kind of answer your question, I'm going to say around 40 percent. Y'all may say I'm wrong, but I hear them all the time talk about wanting to be married. It just don't look like what I have. Right. And that's what I was going to ask. That's the second question. Right. Out of those 40 percent, how many of them? are going to be security bosses, traditional women. No, they don't want that. They don't want that. But guess what? A lot of the men don't either. Foundationally, a lot of the men don't want it either. I agree. So they they say that they do. Um. So listen, uh, Mr. C says very small percentage, but the others just want security. Okay, I agree with that, but they call it marriage. So I'm agreeing with you. I don't have a percentage, but I can agree with what you're talking about because that's right. kind of what I'm saying also. Um. But black men, um, they they want a version of something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They want a version of something. I've heard feminist women tell me that stuff like this, they'll say, I was like, well, you know, you would need to move in and allow your husband to be that head. You know, y'all may live in a small house, two bedroom until he's able to do something. Different. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to have to get a house where I'm comfortable. See, that's taking that's taking away the man's role. <laughs> And that's 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 realigning the whole thing or concept of actually they actually use the word of redefining traditional. I said redefining. No, 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 no. You don't redefine it. You just ain't it. You know, you right. just ain't what you got. You, you just ain't it. You don't redefine. That's like redefining marriage. Right. No, no, you just doing something different, homegirl. <laughs> don't don't worry about it. Just do what you do. And if you and your husband are on the same page, okay. But understand that. That does put the man in a um, a weaker position of being able to protect and provide and cover his home when he's not in the role of the of the leader of the uh, head of the house. Yeah. So what do we do to because combating this is the solution with the nuclear family, like you said earlier. But my grandmother always used to say it only takes a cap of vinegar to 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 
It only takes a cap of vinegar to t- to change the taste of water in a gallon jug. That's true. And, w- and what she means by that is the majority of what you have is water. It only takes somebody, it only takes one group of people or one woman or one family, like one Cynthia, Jesus have mercy. I don't even want to say her name. But one one person to start liberating people and making people believe something. And then it starts spreading like wildfire. If you go back, and I like to just read the comments. And when Tia Mari did that interview saying that marriage is a celebration, that it's a graduation, you look at the comments. Women are saying, oh, my God, I never looked at it like this. Oh, my God, I never saw what, 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 what she's saying is so real. Wow. Right? That, that's what she's saying. So it's, it's just, I, I don't want I, I mean, you tell me. I mean, well, it's, well, listen, there's a thing here, too. Do because um I just read Sugar Bum's comment. Sugar Bum says black men don't want to be married either. Um, I that's not what I hear, <laughs> but I do know some don't want the traditional marriage. But I do think I hear black men say they want to be married. But again, I don't know. I'm talking to the ones that do and the ones that don't. Plug your ears. You ain't got to ever listen to me. You get what I'm saying? Because the ones that don't. They're going to be the ones complaining about the woman that don't or the woman that's out of control and all of that and all that. But I'm saying to you, why do you bother? You don't want to be married. She's not the one. Let's keep moving on. You're not the one. Y'all want to go. Y'all go over there and argue because um, there is a certain amount of programming that has taken place within women and men on both sides that has turned them totally against the institution, excuse me, of marriage. And um, but but black men, to go back to what I was saying, I said maritable age of 18 to 30. What happens with the woman is she gets 31 mm-hmm. and starts realizing she's by herself. Now, when she gets 35, she gets a revelation. Yeah. And security boss, I have an aunt like that. I love her to death. She would do anything for me, even to this day. Mm-hmm. I love my aunt. I call her aunt. It's auntie. I say auntie. I'm not gonna say her whole name. Auntie, she would do anything for me, my siblings, my mom. She's a very giving person, but when it came to relationships. She always had this mindset of, baby, he can't do nothing for me. Baby, a lot of men approached her, tried to be with her in her 20s and her 30s and her 40s. Now she's double nickels. She's alone every night. Wow. She don't have no man. And it, on her birthday, who you, who you celebrating with? Your 89-year-old mother and your sisters and their husbands. <laughs> and you And now you lonely to my, oh. I see God in, in her prayer. I said, God ain't showed you nothing. I see God. God didn't show me my husband. He on the way. No, 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 no. He's showing you a rerun of what he showed you in your 20s to let you know what you missed out on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Or you know what? She'll succumb to a, a something that she shouldn't be involved in. Or she'll just be selling for a companionship. And right. that often happens, too, that, that when you get older, you'll just settle it could be a man that over drinks or this a drunk or whatever you want to call him that he's just company at that point in time. So guys, listen, when you come into live, make sure you give me a thumbs up, please. I appreciate it so much. I know all y'all may not care so much for what I, what we're saying, but it's real and it may not apply to you and I get it, but, um, and marriage is a beautiful thing. I just think it's just been poisoned so much security boss. It, I, mean, the, I know. And it ain't done nothing to nobody. What did it do? <laughs> What did it do, black man? What did yeah. the marriage do? This I'm never getting boy. married, girl. I ain't, I'm never getting married. Ain't no man gonna tell me what to do with my money and my time. It was who... the man. It wasn't the <laughs> marriage didn't tell you. The man told you. Oh Hold on for a minute. Let's just get Dre involved in here. Dre, thank you so much for your five dollar super chat. He says, "Ooh, uh, no partnership for me. My God has order, and that's still me." And uh, she has a voice, but I lead with love. Absolutely. That's what God has told you to do. That's what men are supposed to do. Lead in love. Women are supposed to submit and be respectful. Not be your par- Hold on. We partners, though. <sighs> yes, but we have different roles in the marriage. I and mean, we, you know, we team partners, whatever. But we're not equal. You know, right, exactly. Our choosing. Ooh. Exactly. Our choosing. Okay. There yeah. you go. Yes. Didn't we have a show about that last week? We just week? had a show last week. Yeah, they are. Oh, oh Lord, have mercy. I, I, but, the, but, 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 black men, that means the men are accepting. 
they're accepting. Yep. And then two, you know what? If you do that and you're accepting of her choosing, you can't renege on her about five down years down the road and be like, hey, I'm the man now. Then that will be a divorce situation. That's right. not right. Can't do it. But you know what? Often that may be the case. You know, um, we were looking at a video over on the cruise season where the young lady said, um, I didn't uh, even check the box of a man being able to financially take care of me. I didn't even consider that. So now he don't have any, you didn't consider that. So automatically you went in thinking, I'm going to control him. I got the money. I'm going to do what I want. And if he don't do what I want, we ain't going to be married. Exactly. That's simple. I mean, it, it ain't no, we ain't got to, you know, think too hard on what her intentions were. She was going to run the relationship. She said she didn't even think about him being able to provide for her because that never was a thing. I always had money. Huh? He's still a man. He's still a man. You know? Yep, exactly. I, I just, like I said again, it's just a beautiful thing. And I'm so happy some people still have that. I, I don't I don't see it anymore because my grandfather passed. But to just see these marriages, I remember I had a show a long time ago where women were on the show saying that people like my grandmother that were married for 63 years were suffering. It was suffrage. Uh, those women that were married for those, their suffrage, they were slaves. They were all they did whatever their husband said. They didn't have no voice. They was this. They, those are the justifications we have now for marriages that's been together for Christmas Day. My mom will be married for 40 years. My mom and my dad will be married for 40 years Christmas Day. My grandmother and my grandfather would have been married for 67 years if he were still alive. Same on Christmas Day. It's a family tradition that everybody got married on Christmas Day. And so that marriage, my grandmother and my grandfather would have been 67. My mom and my dad will be 40 this Christmas day. Uh, my aunt and my uncle, 29 years. Um, and you, when, and when people see that, they say, your mom was a slave. Uh, your grandmother, uh, was a fool for your grandfather. Um, and so why is that security boss? Why even you, 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 you've dealt with it. Uh, people think you're crazy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You, you, you with that man, oh, you a slave for Mr. Boss. It's just crazy to me that they don't want to see love. Who wants to live in chaos? Who wants your kids? Who want to, who, what woman would want a man to come see the kids once a week? But you know what? I don't, I don't think they want that, but I think sometimes when we start talking about this slavery and things like that, I just think people are just using some kind of talking points to um, take away from the situation because nobody actually knows how you're living. Right. You know, nobody knows. I mean, I could have three maids coming in here, one on Monday, one on Wednesday, and another one on the weekend. So right. who's saving what? You know, you don't know how people are living. You're just talking. And, you know, sometimes, um, you know, there was a negative, there is a very negative image that was uh, put on men from, from days ago. Right. But you know, some men were negative, mean as right. hell, and all of that. This is so true. But right. some women are too. And I say it all the time. Women were very mean. Listen, I had a Okay, I can't do that. But I know some women that were very, very, mean. I can't say too much, you know, very mean, very hateful. I mean, you know, even tried to kill their husbands, you know, hiding the insulin, stuff like that, get mad at them, just be revengeful. So it's all real, but it doesn't, it's not a representation, a representation of the whole race of men. So, because I have many examples of people who are not like that. I see many examples of people who are not like men that are willing to fight for. Uh, black men. They're not like that. You're talking about the trifling ones that don't want nothing. Low hanging fruit, low energy or whatever. You just, just, we know this. It exists. I just hate that they got to be the example of what a man is or what a woman is. They, they, you know what? They see us and they be like, oh, you strong, ain't you? You know, so we all, got, we can't be ladies. Why we can't be ladies? Why we got to be strong? So let me say, Chorus um, has a comment here. She says, black men end up in nursing homes. <laughs> Cora, stop. <laughs> okay, Chorus, you're making a generalized statement again, but I'm going to go ahead and read what you're saying because you know black women are in nursing homes also, so stop playing. Black men end up in nursing homes by their lonely selves in hospice looking in a random white nurse's face in the dying moments. Stop it. Their children despise them because they neglected them. 
guess what? This is somewhat true. It happens, but this is nowhere near the majority. Not at all. And you know it. And guess what? Women sometimes end up in the same situation and the mothers may not have neglected them, but they be mean as hell to them. Every most black people, their children have a damn story. Most of them don't they all have a story? You know, you you get the right child. They're going to tell you some story about how negative the dad treated them or how negative the mama treated them. They Dearly all, beloved. We all have dysfunction. So, Cora, what is the point? We get it. There have been some negative black men and some negative black women and Caucasian, both sides. I don't know nothing about Asian people too much, but they are pretty mean, too. I've seen them be pretty mean sometimes. To each other so what what's your point are we what are you saying black men are worse than black women is that where we at she was responding to when i said my aunt is now 55 and after she turned on all these men that who ended up being successful men because she wanted something better or something more higher um she didn't receive that and so she lost a decade of her 30s a decade of her 40s and now she's halfway through the decade of her 50s and now in her 50s, she's saying God's going to send her a husband. She's seen it. And I told her, which she got mad at me, but I, I still love her. I told her that God is only showing her a rerun of what she could have had instead of which in, instead of where she is today. So, and you know, what? I'm going to go back to something Cora said, because I, I heard a story the other day. I don't know. I don't know who told it or maybe not the other day. Nurse Fancy might have told it. I might have been listening to somebody else, though. It's not it's not always um, a black man's issue either, because I heard a story about I think it was a Caucasian man who had a lot of money. And he ended up in the same situation. His family didn't want to have nothing to do with him at the end at all. Right. Um, and it's because he put his money for years over them. Right. Um, he wasn't the best man and they had nothing to do with him. They probably I don't I don't know. I'm not going to say what their what their intentions were, but. You, somebody else could tell you the story too, and you could hear it. But it, it happens. They're not. We're not perfect people. We mess up. We do old junky stuff. Exactly. But we do have consequences for our behavior. So we're agreeing with you again. I'm agreeing with you again. You said nothing wrong, but it's just not that way. That is just not the end all. So, um, Mr. Wizard says, Wizard Kelly says, black men are the most illegal, illitarian, Though, um, he issued, he issued. The issue is obvious. Oh, he, he was, okay. He you said that right there because I can't see. Yeah, he missed that T. <laughs> oh, okay. It's obvious. Why you say that? Uh, I don't know about that, Black man. What you think about that? Uh, well, I think. Mm, Do you believe you are the most ill? I can't say this word. Illitarian than yeah, egalitarian. <laughs> yeah, you so so. I think that because if you look at that word, that word means relating to basically uh, believing in a principle that all people are equal. Um, and I don't believe that security boss. I, I don't believe that all men, I mean, I'm sorry. I don't believe that women and men are equal. They are not. And I, I, I believe like the other day, security boss, oh, let me tell you what ran me hot. You was on a show the other day. Okay. And you know, I support you 1000. So you was on the show today, and I had to go back and watch the whole thing again. I put it on at work, and I shut my door, and I just turned it up, and I listened. Okay. And they started talking about the Bible and Adam and Eve and how they tried to switch the word up. And I said, wait a minute. <laughs> I said, Lord, if you would have just gave me five minutes on that on that platform. Um, because, we, <laughs> because what we do is when we want something to fit our narrative, we'll change it up. Um, and so I don't think we were born a mate. I don't think women or men are equal. But for the simple fact is, even if you're a believer, God, did, if, he, if you were equal, God would have just said, hey, listen, I'm going to put both of y'all here at the same time. But he did that in, in the way he did the process that he did it to show that who the leader was, who is the head of, of, of the woman. It's God, man, God over man, man over woman, woman over children. Um, and I just don't understand. I don't get it. I don't get how people can hate marriage. I don't get how pe women can think they're equal to men. But when 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 somebody start firing off in a crowd, you hide behind your husband. Somebody break in your house, you get behind your man. Your man at that point, your man is just a tool you use to protect yourself. But well, any let's, other, go ahead. Let's go back a little bit. So, 
we are equal in creation, but mm -hmm. we were put here for different purposes. Yes. Our jobs are different. Everybody has a position. Everybody play. plays a position, has one. Adam was put here. He did all the work. And Eve was actually formed within him or created within him. But when the rib was taken out, was she took on a form. So she had her job too. Right. Now, my expectation, and I said this to a little podcast a while back, my expectation of a man is much greater than he is can be of mine because I'm not going to jump in front of the bullet. I expect him to know how to shoot or what have you. You get what I'm saying? Yep. So we're not equal. We're not equal. Um, yeah. We deserve yeah. the same things. No, we don't. We don't. Um, we don't. There's somebody in the chat things. saying that right now, a lady in the chat right now. Uh, just so, so I love her to death, but she says we, we are, we, we are equals, but when her tire goes on the flat, she's going to call a man. Oh so yeah. She, she's yeah. not going to help build the apartment complex she lives in. No, heck no. What I'm doing that for? I'm not, I'm not doing anything over my head. I said it a long time ago, yeah. but, but, um, chorus is telling someone, oh, we're equals. We're, we're equals. We're not equals. Right. We're not equals. Equals to what? What are you? I'm not. I, well, let me say this until you learn that you're not equal to a man. You might go ahead and continue to live the life that you are. I have come to the knowledge a long time ago. I'm not equal to a man. I am not. I don't care where you at. You could be in 2025. I could put you 30 years ahead of me. You're still not going to be equal to a man. And it could be easily proven that you're right. not equal to a man. So but, she, she won't change her own tire. I guarantee it. She what? She won't change her own tire. That's she's not, she's she not going to go build no dog house for the dog. She's not going to go out there and put all in no car. She's not about to do nothing with me. She's not about to go get no construction job and help build skyscrapers. She's not. She's a terrorist. So is that what she's saying would make her equal if she could do all those things? Yeah. If you're not equal to me, if you can't do what I do. Okay. Is it just that simple? It's just that simple. It's just that simple. Okay. Let's go, let's go bench press. I guarantee <laughs> you, you can't bench press the uh, past the bar. I don't know. I don't even know why a woman would want to be equal to a man, but Hey, again, again, until you grow up to the fact that you're not, then you, you, you'll be right. Is this what we talked about a minute ago? We're not equal to men. Men have their roles that they're responsible for and in their purpose, they're outstanding. Women, we have our roles that we're responsible for and in our purpose, we're outstanding. And together, it's like Dre said from the very beginning, it is a strong bond that is better than, than anything. He said it. I forgot how you said it, but that's what he said coming in. <laughs> we both compliment each other and we be the best in relationship or in marriage. So um, I don't know. I don't do anything over my head and I'm not supposed to, I'm supposed to bear children, <laughs> you know, and do other things. Uh, we aren't equal to men. We are beneath them and must submit. Now, Karis, I, if you, when you say beneath, I don't know, that sounds a little weird, but the submission part, I agree with, we, we do submit, but beneath she was, them, she was being, she was being sarcastic. You can't, do, you can't do that to me. You can't yeah. be sarcastic to me because I'll use what you say and flip it on you and make exactly. it real. It's okay. <laughs> Black man, it's okay. I'm I'm older. Right. That means something. So um, it's okay. It's okay because I want them to learn. So if you want to learn by throwing craziness towards me, continue to do it. Continue to do so. It doesn't. It's all good. Lucky Marie says she want to come up. And, Lucky Marie huh? says she want to come up and say something. Oh, she do. Lucky, where you at? She said, she said, can I come up? Yeah, you could come up. Hold on for a minute. Mr. Boss will put the link in the chat. You guys, listen, y'all, I'm ready for you girls. I'm ready for you ladies who feel like um, you're equal to men. Um, and yeah. I think y'all don't feel like that. I think y'all just shooting the, you know. The you, you know, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. If you, equal, if you feel like you're equal to me, let's go to this weight room and hit this bench press. And I and guarantee you, I'll you show you real quick. Press. I'm telling you, you don't want to be equal. You want to have the babies and be taken care of. Because listen, when y'all start wanting to take care of men and stuff, y'all y'all breaking stuff down too far. We don't want these men to be taken care of like we taking care of. What is wrong with y'all? What's wrong with a black man? I don't know what's wrong with him. I'm hey. equal to a man, but but your tire going to flat, you call a man. When you run into a problem, if you run if you walk into your car after you left the gym and a man gray you around your throat, go ahead and get out that chokehold. I, I'm just saying, like you, 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 black man. I don't think that's what they be, but we gonna listen to them. Not, if they have something to say, because that's weird. 
Uh, I don't think they, uh, I think they understand that we're not, we're not, we're equal in creation, meaning God made us both. Excuse me. But the role of a man is much more difficult and heavy lifting than it is for a woman. And it should be, and we should be proud to be women um, and to have our standards for ourselves and know that we are very, very valuable because what the man gives us, we multiply, you know, you know, look, we, we can like, you know, if we multiply like we were supposed to back in the day, we could just make so many. We, we, we're the ones to keep this thing going. Why don't y'all want to relax in that? Why don't you? What it black man? Why they don't want to relax in that? They don't. They it, it, it's uh, it's they'll they'll sit down for a minute and they got to get right back up in it. Um, so, uh, uh, Dre, uh oh, Dre calling it out. Dre, Dre calling it out. Dre says that Susa is a feminine. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, she is a feminist for sure. 100%. Okay, I said one can chase a thousand, two can chase ten thousand. Power and unity. Thank you so much. Can um men come up? Right. Listen, I don't care about De Sousa being a feminist. She can be a feminist because um, guess what? Rebecca Barrett was one too, and she'll tell you all day long, I ain't no feminist no more. I don't like it. <laughs> so she it's okay. Shout out to SB. Thank you so much. She said, I ain't I ain't into that no more. I like my husband, I like what I'm doing over here. She realized before it was too late. Yeah. Rebecca Barrett, y'all know who I'm talking about. Rebecca's my girl. Black man, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. She was a feminist. She said her hair was all colors red, yellow, green, and blue. Yeah. She was uh -huh. too heavy. She said, yeah. the social said, we're not interested in modern slavery. See, I told you. Mm, I what told is that? you. No, don't get caught up in that. What is modern slavery, though? I would like to know what that she is. She's talking about when women submit to their husbands, that's slavery. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. See, I told you. What What is it when men? Okay, that's modern slavery. What's What's that supposed to look like? I'm I'm confused. Yeah, she, Why is it slavery? Because you're submitting. You know what though? Do we? Do, you know what a good question would be? Because it, it ain't got nothing to do with modern slavery. What are What do you believe in? Do you have a belief system that that um includes your creator? But some of them may not believe in God. If they don't believe in God, black man, you you talking your head off, and they'll never get it. They'll never understand yeah. what you're talking about. And if that's the case, that's okay, but it makes sense. Okay, so the Susu, Susu says she don't believe in God. So then, so she, then she it wouldn't make it wouldn't matter. Podcast joined. Yeah. It wouldn't matter then. It yeah. would it would not matter. You 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 can't speak to her about that principle, seeing that she doesn't have that belief. She don't even have a foundation. Is she married? No, hell no. Who gonna marry her? What's wrong? Well, she can be married. Like, no, because married. these what these what these women want. They want the they want the idea of marriage, but they don't want the responsibility of marriage. And the Sosa is one of those. She want to be able to carry her husband around like a trophy, but put his ass on the shelf when it's time to come to decision making. Put him on the shelf when it's time to go to girls' trips. Put him on the shelf when it's time for her to do what she want to do. She want to do what she want to do, when she want to do it, how she want to do it, who she want to do it with. And she want him to shut his mouth and only be available when she want him to be available. That's now, what these feminist married women want. That's what they want. Is she making all the money in this situation? In hell this not, no, she, she, hell, mm -hmm. I don't think I don't know. But she ain't got no man. I know that. Well, you know what? Then we just it's, it's just an empty conversation. There's no need to have it. <laughs> I know she ain't got no man. How are you? Hey, how you doing? Doing good. How you been? I've been doing all right. How about yourself? Doing well, doing well. Thank you for being here. What do you have to add to this glorious conversation that we're having this evening? <laughs> it got kind of, it got kind of deep, didn't it? <laughs> man, have we talked about the hole yet? Are we still like down there in the murky part? Where are we at? <laughs> I never be in the murky part. I just, okay, I just stay you know, facts. Sometimes you have to go down there to the murky part. You got to meet them where they at. Sometimes, JT. Yeah, I can do that too. I can do that. What's going on, black man? What's, What's happening? Up? What's up, man? Well, look, when we're talking about this whole thing of, of marriage, I, I don't know if you guys seen what I was saying that it's very, it's a very, um, it's a messed up um, thing out here right now for any man to even want to get married right now. That's just the facts. Um, of course, men want to be married, mm -hmm. but when you look at what's in front of them, when you look at what's happening right now in this, um, uh, and what we going through right now, it is very, it's a, it's just a very, um, what's the word should I use? It's, it's just, messed up. It's, it's very messed up. And you know, for, for men to get married right now, you just see a lot of guys 
It's not. It's it's kind of like jumping out of a plane with a fifty percent chance of, of of dying. That's just basically what it is right now. It's it's tearing up not only men's life, but it's tearing up the children's life also. So when you have to deal with somebody that'll get you so far in life, they get you to do what they want you to do. And after about five to, to 15 years, now they're saying, I don't want to be married anymore. I just, I, I, I got the, you know, the right to, to change my, my, uh, my mind on her. So they look at it. And one of the main things that a lot of these women are saying is that they're not happy anymore. And to, to put that type of investment into your marriage and for it to just be single handedly destroyed like that, it's crazy. All because somebody wants something superficial like happiness. So let me say something, JT, because I got all kind of pushed back to that, because you know what? I'm always the one that says that marriage is what you make it. Um, in the in the vetting process, the man is doing the vetting and he's making his presentation of to what kind of woman he wants his wife to be. And he's saying, this is what it looks like for me. Somewhere in there, he needs to see that superficial um, or that sacrificial woman that's going to be his wife within that. If he's not able to identify identify that within that process, that's not the woman for him. Because this is what I'm telling you. When I got married, I got married for life. I don't feel like I'm any different or Mr. Boss is any different than any one of you all. I do feel like we had our mindset on being married and we were all both of us had that plan and that 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 whole game plan and principles were the same to that fact. You get what I'm saying? I didn't want one thing and he wanted another. It was made clear what we both wanted. Now, if you're saying that 15 years within it, he woke up and said, oh, I don't love the Lord no more. God didn't create me. I don't think this marriage thing is for me. I don't think that would happen. But guess what? It could have very well been that he fell away and anything could have happened to him that kept him from that relationship, from that foundation is what I'm trying to say. And then I would have had to deal with something else for my husband. But what you all sound like to me, and I'm not talking about you particularly, you know, I'm not talking about you. What it sounds like is being created now is this whole idea about what marriage is and what it looks like. And it's all false. It's you all creating it. It's not the marriage, the real marriage. It's what you all are bringing to the table. And y'all ain't bringing everything to the table. You hold them back because you don't know what marriage is. You just want to have some companionship and you hope she gets on your plan. But I didn't really set a plan because if I set a plan and I would have found out in the beginning that this was not the woman that she should have been to carry out this plan for the ages, for the years. Because the things that I hear now that people are thinking about or concerned about, these things have been, people have been getting divorced for a very long time. It's not nothing new. Women have been winning the divorces for a very long time. It's not nothing new, especially if you can find at fault. If, if they find out that you've been cheating woman, then, then the man kind of wins or vice versa. This has been going on forever. Women have been getting fat in marriage forever. I can't think of anything new that can be presented to me in marriage that hasn't already been happening. This is nothing new. Now, child sure. support has been, you know, they've been doubling down on that. Now, no, I'm going to keep it real. They've been adding some clauses and doubling down, but even child support, support has been around for a very long time now. So, yeah, so it, it's, but it, that's again, from what you were just saying, it's still a risk, at, no matter how you look at it. So life is right. a risk. Right. So now we have different generations, the generations people are getting, you got to remember every day there's a new 18 year old, 21 year old, 25 year old. And the generations, as we go into deeper into the generations, information is lost. Information is lost. All you got to do is talk to the average 22 year old. You're going to find out how much information was lost. So when we're talking about the institution of marriage, first and foremost, before we can get people into marriage, we got to get them to start liking each other. They got to start learning what courting is. They got to start learning how to date one another. They got to start learning a lot of other things before they can even start talking about having a life together. And right now it goes to what you was just saying. You got people that don't even know what marriage is for. Because right. you have all of these different talking points. I you agree. have people talking about they putting uh, money in the middle of it. They got the fear of uh, child support. They have the fear of somebody cheating on them. They got the fear of all. It's fear. 
All of it is fear. I agree. First and foremost, they think that a relationship is supposed to better them. The relationship, oh, is. for one, yeah. is. But no, the, the relationship is not. It is. But what I'm saying is, it's not. It's not necessarily to to better you. It's to bring out everything that you've been hiding. All your it, it is a mirror of what you are actually about, what you've been coming up to. It is a curriculum that you never ever graduate graduate from. You <laughs> never graduate. You can only <laughs> drop out from it. I can't believe you said curriculum. <laughs> Listen, I agree with you, but it a relationship relationships are to make us better. But there is a time when um the layers are being peeled back because that's what love does for you. It reveals all things. So you're exactly right, but that's not being new. But what you're saying is the people that are making the people that we're making now are not having true, honest examples of what they're trying to do of marriage, of relationship. We're not giving them the uh, we, we're making up stuff. We're just telling them what we want them to know. And it may not be true. It's not the true purpose of it. It's not it's not even any good examples that would keep them for the long term. We just basically talking points right now. Absolutely. And so once Linda, they got to do the work, then it's over with. Once they right. do the work, it's over with. The the average, look, I'm just saying, talk to the average young folks because these are the ones that's in that 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 dating pool. Talk to them, and you will understand that even when we look, because we have to look at statistics too. The average woman, once she has a baby, young, I'm talking about the younger generation, she's not even with the man. Right. By the time she's in her third trimester, it's over with with them too. So I mean, now, what we're talking about? We got to go somebody. Go back. We got to listen. In the what? In the eighties, that was the end thing. Teen pregnancy was all abound. We got past it. We but worked. That, the mindset, but this is the mindset. You ask a person. You ask a couple. They can be together, right? You mm -hmm. ask them. They she's pregnant, and you ask. You can ask both of them. Okay, now that you're pregnant, when are y'all supposed to be getting married? Why haven't you guys married each other? You know what the number one answer is. They don't know nothing about that. They ain't even talking we about ain't, it. No, the number one answer is when you ask them, we are not ready for that. Right. So but you that, are that, ready to, to create a whole human being for 18 plus years, but you ain't ready to bring the family together. Talk All yourself. you're doing is building destruction. But you know what? Listen, listen, JT, that's not... It is a problem of young people, but that's a problem throughout the whole generation. They all look up 25, 30, look up and say they're not ready. Or that's what I was saying. Right. I mean, that's, that's just, what, that's, that's that's what that's I was saying that as the generations go, they the information is lost. As you as as you see the generations growing, the next 22, the next, you know, when we we in the Z's now, <laughs> yeah. the information is even worse now with them. They don't know half the stuff. They don't, they definitely don't, they don't even know three quarters of the stuff that I know. And I'm 50. Okay, okay so guess what? You're exactly right. But should we be pushing it's the man's fault, it's the woman's fault, or true information? No, we should be we which, what we should be pushing is first we got to start getting counseling, learning how to court one another. We can't get to, to marriage until they even understand how to like each other. Right. How to be able to coexist with each other, how to be able to trust one another. Right. What's happening is that, that they're putting the horse, they put in the, the cart before the horse. Right. And they're getting that type of information because we only get that whole thing where marriage is a beautiful thing. They don't know why. They have well, no idea why. There's not many examples of it. And I don't think people are saying that. I don't think people are saying marriage is a beautiful thing. But hold on for a minute. Hold that thought. Hello, Miss Lucky. Hi guys, how are you? This is my first time on your channel. I know. Welcome, welcome to SB Nation. Before you get started, crew season. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you so much for your nine dollar ninety nine cent super chat. The secret of to longevity in marriage is getting out of your own way, hmm. meaning letting to letting go of your ego, pride, and outside noise, paving your own way. Once the clicks, you're gone. You're good. Salute. Listen, he's exactly right. Somebody else said that earlier today. Am I right about that, black man? Getting out of your own way. Absolutely. You know, all of that. But you get the money line. Money line. I'm going to run it every time. Give me mine. Going up, need no decline. Money line. I'm going to run it every time. Give me mine. Going up, need no decline. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
beloved. Jedi, I, Jedi, I see you. <laughs> but anyway, um, go ahead, Lucky. Add to this thing. We we were just went around the world, so I don't know how much you've heard. But um, yeah, so, um I like it because I just did a, a commentary on uh, Tia Mari, <laughs> and I broke down um, the thing about the interview. I don't know if people kind of catch the same things I do. But we are in a time where celebrating divorce is um, a thing. Mm. So the thing is, is that if we're going to have these conversations, we have to understand what we're up against. And it's not each other. It's the narrative. It's the fact that whoever Mr. Happiness is, <laughs> keep taking y'all wives. And so on in the conversation, I, I ask men, how important is it that your wife is happy in the relationship? We understand that happiness is an individual thing, but if we're talking about a lifetime, there it's a roller coaster, right? It's sometimes we happy, sometimes we not. It's a temporary emotion. But women are feeling like it is better to make a permanent decision on my temporary feelings. For what reason? Do men really care about why Mr. Happiness keeps taking their woman? Or is it like, you know what? I fear, like he was saying, I fear the laws that could take place if she feels like she wants to jump ship because she feels she's not happy. And so my question, just to add to the conversation in the men here is I've never been married yet, but I, and I am a person where I think that happiness is important. And I think that it's important to be happy with who you with. So if men are saying that women, it, it's a bad thing to, be looking at Mr. Happiness, but the narrative is that women should go out and find this said happiness. What are men doing to combat that to make it seem like marriage with them is a lot is the true happiness versus whatever that is out in the streets that they that they are pretty much saying, I would rather go figure that out than be in the house with you. That's um, pretty much what it's saying. Hold on, let me let me say something, then I'm gonna let the men answer, of course, because I can't answer that question, but I do want to make this comment. Happiness is a very immature state of mind. Exactly. But I want to just say that. You took the, the word right out of my mouth. The better thing to look for in marriage is fulfillment. If that man is fulfilling everything and every need. Yeah. Because when you talk about happiness, man, I could be happy because my car is clean. And I could be fiery. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, it's just it's, happiness is, is real tricky. Yep. I think. Gain 10 pounds and be upset. And, well, what and I looked up, SB, is just to add what you're thinking of it. One of the words that's synonymous with happiness is being content, which we know we are at a time now where most people aren't content. So there you go. how are men helping their women stay content? There you go. Them? Fulfillment. It, it is Okay, so men, y'all answer that question. <laughs> um, you want to, uh, I'll go. Um, when it comes to happiness, I think that, I, I'll use Tom Brady, for instance. Tom Brady is the GOAT. He won seven Super Bowls, makes $40 million plus dollars a year, uh, plus endorsements would probably equal out another $60 million. His wife married him knowing that he was the hottest white man in Hollywood. All the, all the women wanted him. All the men wanted to be him. And he did a job, and the same job he's doing now, he was doing when he met her. And all of a sudden now, she's divorcing him because she's not happy. Because he's playing the same game he was playing when you met. So now she's putting her happiness on the fact that he wants to go make another $45 million this year. Because that's what he's projected to make as a quarterback this year, $45 million. I don't know what woman could be angry with a man making $45 million. But what I will say about Giselle is, is that she used to be the number one model in the world. And she traveled to Spain, Italy, London, Paris. She was everywhere, all around the world, taking pictures on alligators' backs. And Tom Brady never said anything. But now that she's retired and those legs have got wrinkles on them and those scratch marks on her back, now it's not okay for Tom to continue his career that he's been so successful in. And now she's unhappy. So what I what I, to say, I said all that to say this. Happiness is temporary. It's all about fulfillment. What what can I do for you uh, if we built together? Take security bosses. Uh, we'll, we'll come a little local here. Take security bosses' story with our husband. Security boss said when we first got together, he didn't. It, it, he didn't. It, we didn't have the money that we have today. Right. We had to build something. And what if security boss would have said right in the middle of that building, "I'm just not happy. I'm out. 
I'm just going to get this temporary penis over here and I'm just going to deal with it. Then she wouldn't have that Maserati she just got for her birthday. Hell no, Bosa. Come here, somebody. Right. She wouldn't have that Maserati she just got for her birthday if she would have left the man that was building the house to go be with a man for 30 minutes in an apartment. So we need to stop focusing on happiness and focus on fulfillment. He's going to fulfill you in every day. Hey, baby, every day is not going to be a happy day, right? We're going to suffer loss, even biblically. I wasn't going to go biblically because I know a lot of people don't, but okay, so what? It is what it is. The Bible even tells you that happiness is temporary. It never even promises you happiness in the Bible. Find it and show it to me. It says that you will struggle. You will strive. You will have moments long of suffering. Sorry. You're long, there we go. So if we know that, and then we cannot, if we put all our trust in happiness, then the divorce rate is going to continue to climb. JT? Well, that, yeah, that, that was my question. What are men doing to make sure they're happy with you? Not necessarily happy such as the joyful feeling, but happy mm -hmm. knowing that I know even though we mad at each other at the end of the day, I know that he's choosing me every day. I know that we we want the best for each other. That in itself could make you happy, not the circumstance. So in conversations, we don't really hear men's perspective as to this is my duty as a husband to mm -hmm. make sure she is content with her choice or, or you know, both of our choices of being together. Mm -hmm. we, we get women need to stop chasing happiness, but maybe if they understood to be content or men understood I'm going to create a space for women to feel content with me always choosing her. They wouldn't feel like it's better to break up their homes to go find whatever this is because they have an understanding that I am in a relationship, that I'm content and I am fulfilled even when I'm not happy. I know that I am fulfilled. Right. You kind of get what and I'm a saying. man has to be consistent in that area, right? So, but the thing that confuses me is, is that the only person in the relationship that needs that is the woman. I can't wait, wait a minute. I, I heard her say something. Go ahead, go ahead. And what I heard her say is, I'm a wife. Mm -hmm. That's what I heard you say, Lucky. A wife's a wife's job is to know what a husband is and what it looks like. Mm -hmm. And in that, you'll note that he's on his purpose. Right. And the things that he's allowed in you as the head of your house will fulfill you. Yeah. So it's your job to see the value in the man. And if you don't see it, that in case that's a problem. That's mm -hmm. where the problem is coming from. And mm -hmm. what I said yesterday was it yesterday, guys? It's like I was yesterday, but on my last live, is that there are not many people in these spaces that are teaching men to be the husband. We don't see right. it. I can talk all day long about women having the value as wives and aligning ourselves with what God wants us to be as wives. But mm -hmm. nobody is coming right behind me and saying, "Now, husbands." Just like these women, this is what you got to do. Love your mate. This, 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 this. They're not doing it. You don't see it much. Now, listen, I'm not going to take away from anybody. Someone said Anton had a great course. Um, it was he said, she said, had a great course. And Bolo is absolutely outstanding, but that's not, no, you know, that's not his concentration. It was somebody else. Y'all remember who else was it? It was somebody else, too, that offered. Um, oh, MRM said he was going to dedicate a, a, a show to that. Because you're exactly right. We're not seeing women are not seeing black women. We're not seeing the value in our men. We're 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 not seeing that they do the heavy lifting. We're not giving any credit or credence to the provision, the covering, even the paying of the bills, because we make just as much money as they do. So they really not get no kind of credit. So the question you're asking is a good question. But black men, do you understand her question more now that I put it the opposite way? So she's I'm, asking, in you being the head, mm -hmm. how are you showing this woman that good? I'm, I'm what I'm giving you is fulfillment to you, and if if I'm lacking in there, it's because of this, because that's what happens right. when he falls off, is when we begin to get unhappy. Right. <laughs> if he loses his job or or things get tight, the lights right. get cut off. Right. Uh, in this day, if, get to, you know, go ahead. I'm sorry. In, 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 in the nineties, in the nineties. It was, I don't want no scrub. I, I don't want a man without a job, right? I don't want no, you got to have a job to be with me. And now is that the man's working too much. A lot of marriages are ending because a man is working too much. And so a lot of women are be becoming unhappy because you have to work an extra five hours on the weekend, on a Saturday. But this Saturday was a Saturday. We were supposed to go see Wakanda forever. Baby, I got to work. 
I'm unhappy now. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to do it, right? Because you're unhappy because there's changes being made to me trying to fulfill you. You're looking at you're looking at it as a surface thing. Happiness is surface. Fulfillment is when I get into you, right? Because I'm fulfilling something, baby. I understand that we're supposed to go see Wakanda forever, but I'll be off on Sunday to go see that. But let daddy go get this five hours so I can make sure you have a roof over your head. Make sure that our children have something when we pass away. Make sure that we have whatever we need uh, as a couple. So allow me to be the man. Allow me to do what it is that I do. Uh, so many women today are unhappy because their husbands are getting second jobs. They're finding second streams of income. Women are upset by that. Women don't want that right now. They want you to have get your regular nine to five, be happy with that, and be here with me. And it's not all you're not. And there's going to be times where you're not happy with that. But you, but you got to look at the like I said, stay off the surface and look at the fulfillment. Like Security Boss said, let let the man fulfill what it is he's trying to do. Especially if he has a vision and a goal and where he's going. Let that man work. Well, I can tell you right now, it is not my job to make sure that you're happy. It's not my job for that. Now, if you connect to joy, it's something different. All of that there is internal, go. what you're talking about. So for me to make you feel secure, provided for, that you are my family, I am responsible for you, even through my flaws, it's up to you to make sure that I maintain being a man. It's certain things that I have to do for you that I just can't, there's no compromising with it. Mm. So I have to provide for you. I have to protect you. I have to do these things. I don't have to make you happy. My duty should supersede how you feel. Mm. That takes the curriculum that we call relationship. That's the classroom that we induct ourselves in. That's when we enroll. Because guess what? When you are in a marriage, you're in a classroom. We're going to learn with each other. And it's going to be some times where you got to take remedial classes. You're going to fall. <laughs> guess what? That's where the grace comes in. Come on. That's when we give each other grace. We don't go and talk to our mama, our sisters, our girlfriends. We don't go and talk to our friends and, and, and put each other on in a bad light. That's a tough thing for people to do because then we have these other feelings. I feel lonely. Uh, I'm by myself. All these different things that you have. That's the man. And your job is to get each other to a point where we back good again. It's just, it's not going to be where we've arrived. You're never going to arrive. It's to death do you part. You're going to keep learning each other. I've seen in front of me all my life. My parents are still together. 53 years. That's all I seen. All I knew was when I get older, I'm going to give me a nice job, career, and I'm going to get married. Marriage was always there and children was always there. Yep. And you, when, It just so pregnant. happened that most people don't have it anymore. Most people don't know that that's what it is. So your happiness, that's just temporary. I'll take you to Benny Hanna's. I bet you'd be happy. I guarantee after Benny Hines is over with, you might be back mad again. Right. So let me say this. And lucky, this may help. This may help all women because we can put it down in a little smaller package. But JT, I like the way you said, because you, you've been listening to the Tia. Because Tia said it was the curriculum also. Mm -hmm. It graduated mid-year. Mid, mid um, but I never heard you say, you said you don't graduate. So somebody doesn't Never graduate. You somebody never graduate. Right you, only, you only drop out. Always that, that's the only school that you would never graduate from. Okay. You're going to die going to that school. That's what you're supposed to. But listen, that's what you're supposed to. Lucky, let me look, lucky, let me add this. It's two things that I'm going to put it in a smaller container so maybe women can understand it better. Um, men, if a man is supplying security and stability to a woman, she'll be happy. Security and stability. If they're supplying that, you will be happy. Um, now listen, that ain't that ain't I ain't saying you're gonna be jumping off the walls. I'm just saying you're not gonna have a problem with that man. What happens is is when things start falling apart, he may lose his job. Things like that start happening with that stability and that security start uh, fluctuating or dropping. We get fearful. And when a woman is fearful, she don't know what 
to do, that's when we get all messed up in our heads. Like if we don't know if the eviction notice is coming next, we start feeling like we'll be better off without them. But you know, that shit ain't true. How could it be? We done hey, been all our life. Now, now we got to go figure it out. Oh, I'm better off without them. Come on. But that's how we think because we get fearful. A woman has to have stability and security. And when men are offering that, we can definitely see the value crystal clear. It's problems come when there are issues. But if we know who that man is, you know, he can be down, but a good man don't stay down, but maybe two or three days. He'll figure out a way to keep it going. So that's what you look for. That's where the fulfillment is in, the security and the stability. But y'all hold on for a minute because okay. Dre was saying happiness comes from your state of mind. Paul said, I think myself happy. Apps to your point. Lucky, he said, I'll, I've will i learned to be content with your anchor. That's his all. That's what it is. That's what it is. You can be very fulfilled with a man that is offering you security and stability. You can actually even be happy in that most times. But women, we are never satisfied. So it's always going to be something that has to be done for us. But we'll be able to recognize that good man if he's keeping up with that security and that stability. Can I have the pastor moment for a minute? The Bible says. I had a question for JC. Uh -huh. Real quick. Okay, go ahead. Go. Yeah, I, 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 I would say this is real fast. Uh, the, 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 if you go biblically about this, um, it says a righteous man, uh, does he fall seven times? And Jesus replied, no, a righteous man falls 70 times seven. And so when we look at that and we understand a, a righteous man will fall yes. and we understand like my grandfather will go off for three or four months on the pipeline, baby, I'm in Louisiana. We're going to ship out to Alaska. I'm going to be there for three months laying pipe, putting pipe down in the ground for we'll three months. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> Putting pipe down in the ground for three months. And my grandmother said she found comfort in knowing that he was providing. And she yeah. put and comfort in spirit. She was very spiritual. So she said she would pray for him and cover him at night, making yeah. sure, asking God for his safety and his return home and make sure he was covered. And he would send her all the money in the mail, keep $10, right? And then send her everything else from the pipeline. They made great money. But my grandmother said she found comfort in knowing that he was providing comfort in knowing that God was protecting him. And when she got lonely at night, she asked God for that comfort. We, I think that's a lost art. I think that we're so impatient now. We don't, we don't want to deal with, we want a microwave. Now my husband, if he go drive cross country to California from Louisiana, his butt need to be back here by the, by tonight. No, we need to understand the process. Most men want to do the process. They want to be able to build something for you and you got to be willing to let that man lead. But go ahead. That's, Go ahead, look at okay. Um, JT, and this will be for gentlemen. So you mentioned that um you it's her job to make herself. I think that is an individual thing, but I'm always the fair one. I have to speak from both sides. So usually we hear in these conversations, men want silence, sex, and submission, pretty much. If she's lacking one of those, are you happy? So which we know men aren't. So if women have their set things that men are saying does not take priority, which would be whatever that particular woman is saying, could you, would you say it's still your responsibility to make her happy? Just like it's her responsibility to make sure you have silence, sandwiches and sex. So if she's not giving all those things, are you happy? Okay. So again, I don't deal with the happiness thing. I've, I've, I've lived this before. And guess so what I had to do? Could I say content to not make it so like technical? Yeah, even even like, even with okay, content, it was yeah. even with content. I was nine years married. My first three months, <laughs> I wouldn't get none of that. <laughs> she told me she wasn't even domesticated. She just graduated from college. I was the one with the career. She was living. I, I came home. I was in the military, by the way. And three, we both twenty two years old. And she was like, well, I'm not domesticated. And I, I was like, what the heck is domesticated? She was like, I can cook, but she, I can't cook that good. So I was like, well, you better get a cookbook. You, I, When she talked to her mama, her mom was like, you got to get a cookbook. You have to learn something. Then it was another year that went in. That whole sex thing. Oh, heck no. I'm not about to have this. We had arguments. Now we are young folks. Now, mind you, 24 
at this time. We're arguing over it, but we went through it. Said we had to get counseling. Her. We had to we had to get counseling. We had a whole because I, I reacted messed up. She re, she reacted messed up. But we ended up being as young as we were. We had the common sense to go to someone other than our family because we wasn't around our family. Mm-hmm. I was in the military. We had to go to counseling. We went through church. We went through all these different people. I had most of my friends were older friends. Them and their wives used to talk to me and her. They was like 30, 40 years old. We were 24, 25 years old. So then when it came down to this whole silent thing, oh, the mouth was just going. It was just going. This was this was another, it wasn't like all at one time. I'm just fast forwarding it to certain things. We did had to work these things the, out. Did y'all get better at the sex along the way? Did the counseling help the sex? Did yes. any of these situations resolve? All of it. Okay. Helped all of it. Gotcha. Helped every one of it. I I didn't I couldn't see anything other than like I said before. All I knew was I was going to get married. We went to high. We didn't go to high school together, but we we went to each other's prom and everything like that. That's where it got to the point where I said, "Dang!" As I got older, now we did get a divorce after nine years, and the thing was was that now that we're both in our fifties. She goes back because I don't think about it anymore. We've been divorced for 20 years. I don't think about it no more. But she would go and she'll she start talk, talking about in the 90s what happened and all these things that she learned and all this. I have a relationship. She don't. She's hit the wall. These are the things that she's having a problem with. She had come and talk to me. She was like, I don't know what's going on with myself. I can't find a man that I can be around. Like I'm her brother because we got kids together. So when I looked at it, I was like, I can't hold this against her. Why would I hold anything from our past against it? Because we had children from that. By the way, my, our children are doing fairly well, too. So I couldn't hold any of these things against her. But what I'm saying is to answer your question is that it's not about being happy. It's about duty. You don't know what's going to what's, what's in front of you. You don't know. So you have to say at least. Let me, sometimes you got to put that happiness on the side. Sometimes you got to say, this is for whatever, the children, this is for her, this is for me, this to make sure she's straight. She had kids, postpartum, all kind of stuff. I had to learn how to deal with that myself, how to deal with her having postpartum. I had to deal with all these different things. I had to learn with myself. We didn't, we never, until we came back to Michigan, ever broke up. And then we come to Michigan and then all these things started happening. It's just what it is. At least we gave it a try. That's all my, my whole thing was. At least we gave it a try. And I mean, it wasn't about happiness. It was about duty. To this day, my child, if, if my kids, they both, one is 27, one is 20. They having problems, she going to call me. She going to tell me what's going on. If they got a problem with her, hey, that's your mom. If I, they got a problem with me, hey, that's your dad. We had to learn that. And it was a whole bunch of calling each other out our names and being mad and all these different things. But we had to work through it because we get older. Mm. Even when it comes down to the woman that I'm with right now, I'm on a mission to make what I got with her better than any other relationship I had. And the only way I can do that was the curriculum. Mm. Learning from my mistakes in mm. my past relationships being able to grow, being that man that I intended to be. And it didn't come from happiness. Because if that shit happened, I wouldn't, I ain't going to be with nobody then. <laughs> I won't be with nobody trying to be happy. Hmm. It's more duty than anything else. Okay. Black man, did you did you want black man to answer that also? Um, anybody can. Uh, well, I, I think um, JT is a, a lot right. Because once you say I do, it's supposed to be the most important relationship in your life. It's supposed to be something that you're totally devoted and committed to. Also, if you have the principles of God, you have a, you know, that's your foundation. Yep. You do what he says do. You don't, you don't, you sacrifice yourself. I did a video last week where the young man said, um, uh, being marriage is death. You're at the altar. The altar is, <laughs> you know, it's, it's where you die yep. <laughs> and you're dying to yourself. And anyone that is selfish, you can't bring that into a marriage relationship and expect it to work. And that's what we have to keep in mind. And I happen to think, and I say it all the time, 
marriages break up due to selfishness, one or the other. When that, you know, one decides, I want to be happy, she just became selfish. She no longer can be married to that man or vice versa. That's what it is because most things we can probably get through. I know that's- I, I, I believe, I, I think I believe, I believe that. that. There's some high level stuff out there now though, y'all. Real on high the, level. On the, <laughs> yep. On the uh, on the side of toxic toxicity, yeah, almost anything can be worked through. And what breaks it up, security boss, you hit it on the head. Selfishness. Yeah. We decide we want what we want and not yep. for the each other anymore. So that is exactly right. So listen, guys, Lucky is so good for you to be here finally. Thank you so much for being here. I've been here way too long. You know, I got the feminist group. Oh, ooh. Mr. C, let me read your super chat. <laughs> Hold on. I was getting ready to read it. And I, look, don't get mad at me. It's Mr. Boss's fault. Just kidding. Y'all should have seen how he looked around that corner when I said that. <laughs> 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 he's had it up there about five times, four or five times he's had it up there. And I y'all, I let y'all talk and wouldn't read it. And then when I just called him out, he was like, <laughs> <laughs> That's what you have husbands for. <laughs> Lucky, that's what your husband is for. You blame everything on Blame it all on him. Blame it all on him. The car dirty. Ain't no food in the house. Oh, everything. It just is his fault. Yeah. You hear that? It's your fault. Mr. I didn't even see this one. Oh, God, I really messed up tonight. Thank you so much. He says, happiness should be established by the individual. When the individual gets into a relationship, the other person can either extend that happiness or interfere with it. Ooh. See, this is something you should be able to call out, though, while vetting. If somebody's not, if somebody's trying to steal your joy, and I think this is something that um, JT said, if they're stealing your joy doing the courting or the vetting process, don't marry him. Mm -mm, don't do it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. They're not trying to let you be great. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know. It's just something about it. If I can't be, if I can't be joyful while we're dating, I would think marriage would be hell on wheels. Right. So. I would say that would be a red flag, but you know, definitely figure it out. Don't, you don't listen to everything I say, but test it, test the waters. You know what I mean? Try it. And it's one. Oh, 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 all right, and we got one more, y'all, and I'm going to let y'all go because this has been a fantastic conversation. This is, we already did this one. It's one yeah, we already did that one, Mr. Yeah. C. I think it's a Mr. C. Are Mr. you the C, Was it Mr. C? Was it Christopher? No, you already read this one. Yes, I don't you read that one. Did I, did I read the one that said something about the feminists coming out tonight? They're looking for smoke. Oh yeah, that was way up there. Uh, that was uh. Not gonna shoot me. It's Christopher. Yeah, I'm looking for it. Hold on. Here you go. I got it. There it is. There it is. Christopher Lee, thank you so much for your two dollars <laughs> super chat. You know, Christopher, Christopher, look out for me, so I cannot miss his super chat. All feminists call in. It's smoke time. <laughs> you reckon they did? They, they did. So, so can, can I say something real quick? Absolutely. All right, guys, I'm about to go over to my channel at 930 Black Men Unfiltered Network. I'm doing a reaction tonight, and the name of the reaction is called Why. And you'll see why when you get there. I posted something on Facebook, and a whole lot of women came at me uh, about something I posted. So y'all come over at 930. Lucky, you, you're welcome to come over too, sweetheart. Listen, JT and Lucky, y'all shout out your channels just in case somebody's here that don't know who you all are. Go ahead. Ladies first, go ahead. Uh, well, I'm Lucky Marie, and um, on my channel, I just have self-awareness. I am growing, and I like for people to see me grow in real time, and I give commentary. Playing so. game. And you can find me at What We Know Podcast. That's with me and my boy Rob um, on nine at nine thirty on uh, Saturday nights. Um, we basically talk about some of the things that you talk about on your show. Also, um, Security Boss, Black Man, I filter. Shout out to everybody. Lucky, I just subscribed to you, so most definitely. You want the love? I do. Thank you guys for this conversation. Um, this this particular topic, um, I'm learning right now because I am very emotional. So I'm learning to actually understand what's more important with my feelings. When I felt last week, I don't feel this week. So thank you guys for having these conversations. That is so true. You're growing. That's perfect. You're becoming a wife. Hey. Listen, I love being a wife. 
I, I feel like I had a coming out party and I love the purpose that I'm being used for. So I wish that on all women that want to be married. So anyway, guys, y'all have a good night chat. I love you guys. You know, y'all chatted it up tonight. Like y'all always do sugar bomb. You know, we love you. You're welcome. We still gonna work on you though. We're still working on you. And all the others that are here, thank you so much for being here. And listen, we're going to be back again. Y'all, we got the holidays coming. I don't know when I'm coming back this time. I'm not really sure. But y'all look for the notifications. Make sure you got your alerts on. And um, I'll see y'all soon. Have a good day. I've been sitting smoking. My days have been the same since I drove here. I remember the way you wrote letters in blue ink. You and me was in love. What your crew think? I know your mom's probably think I'm a bastard. Your pops probably wanna beat my death and take up in my casket. But I got sick of fighting, bickering, fussing over nothing, cuss instead of and watching the death of discussions that we once had, days that we once spent in the backseat of our cars, we were poets at sunset. It's funny how love can fall out the foreground, get pushed into the back of your mind. We used to twist this and laugh and relax and be crying. And I'm trying to find the reasons, so I ask, does forever ever happen? Or is it always fade to black? I can't stay. No, I always gotta go. Playing house, this ain't a home with my soul on the road. I can't stay. No, I always gotta go. Playing house, this ain't a home with my soul on the road.